ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Liberty Field in North Judson, Indiana. We're here to broadcast the game tonight between the visiting team, the Culver Cavaliers, and the home team on the scoreboard, the North Judson St. Pierre Blue Jays. I am Brett Barron, uh, the principal here at Culver Community Middle School, going to make some calls, and I am joined tonight by Marcel's big cat, Anderson, and he's going to be helping us out tonight, so... Mar Marcellus, go ahead and say hi, and we'll have a little chat here. we got about seven minutes before we got kickoff. So, Marcellus, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Uh, hi, I'm Marcellus Anderson. Uh, I graduated from Culver in 2018. Uh, I'm a college student now. I play college football at Saginaw Valley State Division II football. And uh, I'm glad to be here with my old principal, Mr. Barron, talking some football, watching it, and thankful to be here because not everyone in the state's playing today, and hopefully you get to have fun and watch pop some football. Absolutely, and obviously, as you said, uh, you know, first game of the year, you, you talk about a lot of, you know, emotions that go into it. You know, one, uh, with the coronavirus going around, not every school is playing right now. And uh, obviously, we're thankful that we get to have. So so talk to me, I guess, as a, as a former player, former high school player, what it feels like. You know, you have two weeks of practice. You went through summer weights, the whole program, and now, now it's go time. It's game one. Talk to me about what it's like to be that player going into that game tonight here in game one. Uh, I know we've been facing Judson for a while, for the past four years. So, I mean, you know that they come with intensity, and they're going to bring their A game. We're bringing their A game. And it's week one, so everyone tries to go 1-0. Best start is 1-0 rather than be 0-1. So Zayner always, he's a great coach. He preaches going want to know and playing your best for the first game because it sets the standard for the whole year. Absolutely. And, and then talk to me a little bit about whether, you know, it's a benefit or it puts doubt in the head. We you know our last game was against North Judson St. Pierre Blue Jays, where we lost in the sectional finals to them. Great game, great battle. Um, obviously, we lose a little bit of seniors, probably more than what they lose uh, coming to this game. Does that does that help us knowing that that was our last opponent coming into it, or does that put doubt in the mind saying, oh, we got beat by them, they got a lot of people back? What do you think that standpoint is going in tonight? Oh, I th I think they're holding their heads positive. I mean, two different teams. I know Zayner says it every week. I was at practice and they're talking about how they beat us in the sectional championship and. It's at this field, too. It probably brings back some memories when they're warming up and stuff like that. So we go out here, just two different teams. Hopefully it clears the mind, and, and we just get after them early, and hopefully it's a fun fought game, man. Yeah, and we're starting to get to that tradition with uh, Coach Stander running the power tee. So I imagine, you know, that's what we're going to see for the Culver fans. They're going to see that power tee, power tee, power tee all night long. Yeah, yeah. And then, obviously, if you're North Jets, and, you know, we're talking 80s and 90s and probably early 2000s, it was wishbone central. You know, nothing you see but the bone. Yep. And, and now, you know, last year, Coach Lambert kind of did a little spread option, a little, you know, spread us out, throw the ball a little bit, then go to some pro styles and, and doing a lot of mix and mingling. Um, how do you think, I guess, preparing for that and going into this game, how do we handle a situation like that, knowing that you're probably preparing for a lot of option, but it's game one, you don't know what's going to come yep, at you. Yep, so I think Coach Zinger, I mean, I know that even last year in the section championship, they came out and spread us out a little bit, and then they, you know, I mean, we kind of shut down, and they threw some screens at us, and we kind of handled it after a couple more times, and then they're just going to go back to their tradition, like you said, their wishbone stuff. They're going to try reading our tackles, and hopefully they're disciplined enough to um, tackle the fullback right away, and hopefully we're at, I mean, Coach Clean works them all week, practicing discipline and tackling the fullback, because their coach is, he's going to test us all night, test our D-line, he's going to say, are you tackling our guy? If not, we're going to hand it off and get three yards every single time, so hopefully we're disciplined enough to get it done. Yeah, and absolutely, and obviously, you know, if we talk our offensive side, and we talked about this on the way over a little bit, is we got to use that Blue clock as our friend. Uh, we got to eat some clock, eat some clock, and keep chewing it away until hopefully we punch it into the, in a touchdown. So we know our offensive drives have to take time. Because if it's a, a quick three and out or a two series and out, it's probably not going to bode well for no, us very much. So we know we got to yeah, eat it up. it's not at all. I mean, 1A football, everyone's playing both ways. Everyone's tired. The best way to win a 1A football game is to shorten it down, and that's your advantage, running the football, continuous clock, getting first downs, and then obviously getting stops on D, and whoever turns the ball over the last probably wins the game. Absolutely, and, you know, we go in, we're looking down the roster of North Judson, you just get some of those Judson names. You have the Frasers and obviously Hampton and, uh, lately and Radkeys, and you have, you know, the Sanchez's in <laughs> different – traditional North Judson name, so you know they're going to be tough. They're going to oh, be hard-nosed yeah. oh, kids yeah. and they're going to come at you. Every year, no matter what, North Judson, I mean, whether you wanted to admit it or not, you knew they were going to come out. Whether you hit them first, they were going to hit back. And Me and Eddie Mobash, the middle school coach, were just talking. They said, even back in the day when you were scrimmaging them and they used to run the uh, option cam, the bat, mass bass, and 
they would come and hit no matter what. So, I mean, you would even play them in the regular season in the scrimmage. So, you know they're, they're bringing theirs, we're bringing ours, and it's going to be a good one. Absolutely. And, you know, you always have the, the new excitement, uh, just about well, new year, new players getting tested and get an opportunity to hopefully show what they're about. And, then, you know, that's why you go to practice every week, and that's what you do what you do. So hopefully we have a nice contest tonight. Yep, yep. And at this time, we would ask, uh, uh, we're going to join, I guess, the national anthem with the PA announcer here. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem. Uh, before we get started here tonight, obviously I'd like to introduce our cameraman, Colt Miller. He is Mr. Steady Eddie with us all the time last year with football and basketball, and we appreciate his efforts in coming over and doing this so we can obviously have a football game for our fans out in virtual land. Um, got a minute before kickoff here. I didn't get to see the coin toss to see who's doing what, but I know uh, usually beginning of the year, Everybody has a little yeah, nerves. Got to watch out for the old onside kicks onside to start, kick, the, game. start and, the game. Yes, absolutely. Make sure the, that momentum doesn't get shifted right away. But um, obviously, we're, we're happy to be calling the game tonight. Uh, good crowd on, on both sides and excited to see probably some high school football, not knowing how long this season will last. Uh, so we're happy to do so. Yes, sir. Is the Cavs trying to defense first? That's what they announced the starters at. So. Good uh, officiating crew tonight, Mr. Andy Simpson in the white hat there. Uh, great football official, did a great job with basketball officiating just as well. So we should have a, a great crew tonight calling the game. Uh, matter of fact, it might have been the same crew that did our sectional final last year, if I remember correctly. So uh, hopefully we'll get that same result where it's going to be a nice uh, smash mouth football um, all night long. While we're waiting here, it looks like they're calling to do this. Let's uh, talk a little bit about you again, uh, Marcellus. Talk to us about what it's looked like at college right now. Are you in person at school? What's going on with your football season? Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, our football season got canceled, unfortunately, like almost every conference in the Midwest, whether it be D1 or D2. So that's unfortunate. But if you look at it the positive, it's another year to get your body so right, your mind right. Hopefully we'll play, be playing next season, even next spring, to get some football in. But uh, half of my classes are online, and then half of them are in person. So it's going it's going smooth, and everyone's trying to. I mean, it's no one's fault, or no one's. I mean, no one's agenda to stop everything like that. So everyone's doing the best they can. You just got to be thankful for every opportunity you get. Yeah. So you talked about being in person. Are you going back next week? Then is that when you guys start? Yep. Yep. So the 31st when we start, and then we have some football like meeting stuff going on uh, the Sunday before. So it, it will be it will be nice to see everyone again. Obviously, we haven't seen everyone in a little while, so. It would be nice to get back and see some fellas from school and some new relationships I've built with some of the guys. So Absolutely. Well, that's a good deal. We appreciate you joining us tonight. Um, obviously, I'm not a uh, football tactician at all, so I'll be uh, calling a little bit. But, of course, Marcel will be bringing the football knowledge uh, to us. So uh, we'll try our best. You know, I always talk about football just being basketball and grass. So we'll be all right, right? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> So here we go. We're about ready to start uh, tonight's game. We got Blue Jays kicking off to the Cavaliers. Again, the biggest thing that you always talk about at the beginning of the year is making sure ready for that onside kick, ready for those surprises, and make sure uh, we're ready to go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Always got to be ready for any surprises. So number 40, Cheyenne Allen is going to be kicking 40, off for the, Allen, the Blue Jays. For the Blue Jays. 
Let's get this 2020 football season underway. If you caught the announcer there, here we go. 2020 season on its way. Fielded by Shane Schumann, number 40. Goes up. Nice job, Shane Schumann, getting about 10 yards on the return. Good start for the Cavaliers, starting about the 31, 32 yard line. I say here comes Power T. Let's see how Judson handles the, it. Down the throat, man. Here we go. So obviously at quarterback for the Cavaliers is going to be Tucker Fisher. Tucker last year had a torn ACL and didn't finish probably the last three or four games. It was the casting game where he tore it. Uh, so he had to sit out the rest of the season. So we're excited to see him back. Uh, he had a great summer and preparing for this. So let's we'll see how mobile he is and see how this younger line looks running the tee tonight. Yes, sir. Here we go. Snap goes. Goes to Schumann. Schumann picks up about five. Yes, great sir. start to the game. Great start. Great start. Judson's going to want to shut down the trap the early. They're going to key on Jalen King. 40, He's the man for Culver. He had over 1,500 last year, so they're probably going to key on him, and hopefully the sophomore Shane can get it done up the middle and earn some tough ones. How often or when do you think Judson's defense is going to go ahead and squeeze in and bring all 11 in the box? I mean, it's coming soon. <laughs> it's coming soon. Here comes the safety number 20 up the top. I mean, he's playing six yards off right now. So little Shane Here comes Shane again. again. Looks like he stuffed it. No yard Number game, maybe one or two. By a host of Blue Jays on the right side. So I think it's exactly what you said. They're they're keying on Jalen on yep. 20. I think uh, Coach Zaner knows that. Let's give Shane yep. Schumann the ball a little bit, see, let him eat it up, and kind of go from there. I would yep. probably expect maybe number 20 to get the touch on this one. Yep, third and three, third and four. Not a bad start again. We talked about clock management. Yep. If we could pick up a first down here or maybe getting that fourth first and one distance. Maybe a hard count here to see if Take they jump. Take it off the clock, baby. Stuffed up the middle. That looked like trap to me. They're packing. They're the packing middle. the box. Got a. On that trap, would that have been Blake Thompson on that one there? Uh, it looked like Jalen actually. Jalen on that one. Yep. Again, I definitely think that they will be keying on him. Yep. I, and I don't know if, uh, if we have a punter. I know last year we didn't punt too often, we which we is don't nice. Punt. We try <laughs> maybe hard count here. Maybe get a punt. Yep. Hard count. Replay, replay. 17 seconds on the play clock, plenty of time. Schumann, nice, Schumann. First nice down job. First great, down. great call, Coach Zaner. Great job, Shane Schumann. Yep. Shane Schumann, three carries, 10 yards. Baby. Good start. We'll take it, baby. Shane Schumann with the first down. So, again, need to feed him early, man. Get yeah. him comfortable. Didn't play fullback too much last year. Get him comfortable with the ball. Let him know he can play up, up in the fullback with the big boys and let him ride. And again, eating clock up. We haven't started. And there we go. 40 second clock starts now. Yep. Hopefully, we'll take our time getting to the line. And yeah, start. Yeah, start. Here we go. Power T again. Jalen Trap. Stuff for no game. Yeah, and this looks like what you said. They're going to definitely key on Jalen. Jalen had a great year last year, even a great game against them last year, just as well. So. Yep. That line's going to have to definitely try to find a little bit more holes for Jalen. Yep. Looks like just a, a mesh of bodies down there right now. So maybe keep giving the ball to Shane on the outside, let him run it out, let, it, let the whole side wash him down. And yeah, it looks like they're, they're, they're about 5 6 up on the line ready to go. Yep. Uh -oh, get rid of it. Nice job. There nice. you go. Kez. Great catch. There you go. Nice pass and catch there. Backside was coming hard on the defense yep, line, so were. Tucker did a great job yep, getting rid of it. Tucker's ready to go, he's man. I talked to him before the game. He feels comfortable. He's got he's got knee braces. He feels good. He asked him how he felt and told him to be honest with me. He said he felt really good. So That's always a good sign. Yep. So gain of 13 there, first down again. Chance to eat some clock up and keep this possession going on. So first and 10 from the 45, our own 45. Look like he's doing a good job of mixing up the play calls. You got to pass it early, keep those safeties and DBs honest. It's 21. It looks like 40 and 7 are creeping early. They're playing five yards off the ball in safety. Trap. Looks like a no game for Shane. Saw somebody come out of line. Trey Blankenship, number 51, came in the game for the line. So it's a new person, a sophomore, Trey Blankenship, uh, helping out on the line right away. We'll see if we can get some calls on the line. Looks like uh, 68 Hunter Taylor is on the line just as well. Uh, Austin Zaner is the center. I believe Dalton Binkley, number 75, is on the line. Let's see if we can pick up the last one. Alex Zaner and uh, 
Alexander, 74, 74 the other one. Okay. Yeah. So there's our, our line, obviously tight ends. You got Marquez and Cooper. There you go. Get outside, Blake. Good run. Good run. Good run. Yep. Time's ticking, baby. Time's ticking. Gain of five there by Blake Thompson. Good pulling going on. Good lead. Yep. Good lead Number by Alexander Thompson, there. Left, right guard pulling. Brings up third and five. Looked like Jalen had to come out of the game. Maybe lost his helmet. And uh, Travis. Oh, Blake and Chip came in for that. Okay. Must have, I don't know. I didn't see who they went for the yep. line to play in the backfield offense. Yep. I imagine uh, we still had the T, right? Yeah, we still had the T. <laughs> they actually put Hunter Evans in the back there. Oh, uh, okay. Played a little bit nice. Back, now it looks like Evans is back on the line. Okay, power T coming at you. Here we go. There you go, Jay. Oh, Jalen. Should be Jaylen. pay dirt. There you go, Jay. Good cut back. It's All right. 20 yard gain for number 20. Get him on the outside, man. It's going to be a good night for the Cavs. Again, Cavaliers doing a great job right now, eating up the clock, making a long yes. possession out of this. Now, Five now what's got to come down is 10 and in. You know it's going to yep. be tight. You got to make sure we punch this in the end zone. Already five minutes off. Zinger's doing a great job. Inside out, inside out, inside out. Defense, defense, pass there. Good play calling. Okay, good opportunity. Obviously, still get a first down. So first and 10 looks like from about the 11. There you go, trap of Schumann. Maybe two yards there. Nice thing is seeing, looking like, you know, seeing the Hunter Taylor get into the second level or third yep. level, which is a nice thing. We just yep. got to get a little bit more push out of our centers and guards and yep. hopefully get that moving a little bit. You just got to keep grinding all night. They know they're packing the box seven deep, so you just got to move body. I see some. Is that Jalen again on the sideline? Looks like Jalen came out again. Yep, yep. Like Evan's going back to the backfield again and blanket chip in. Yep, yep, yep. Maybe some early cramps maybe going on. All right, here we go. Second and eight from about the nine. Didn't see much open. Say, good job by Jets in their cover, and I saw uh, Blake Thompson out in the end zone. They had him covered, and they had Marquez covered pretty well. Nothing wrong with throwing it away and giving yourself another life here. Here we go, third down and eight. Expect an outside running play. You think another running play here Outside with Jalen down? Play. Well, Jalen's still on the sideline, so it yep. might be Blake or uh, I mean, maybe a Hunter Evans trap just to kick it in and then maybe pass the four down. If I to take a guess, we probably aren't going to kick a field goal. So. <laughs> so do we have a kicker? That's a, that's a question. Hey, you've been at practice lately. Do we have a kicker? I guess Tucker's the it's probably cut. Yeah, Tucker Tucker's snapped the a tuck. Okay. Yep. And maybe he's a outside right play of Blake. Go, Blake. Good call. Good call going to Blake there. Oh, yeah, keep driving. Here we go, Not man. bad. About four yards off the end zone here. It's going to be a fourth. And we can get it to a one. We have four new lives, baby. Again, great news is that even if you don't punch it in, great drive. Yep. Get him down and obviously, yep. Yep. obviously we would love to make sure we punch it in. Looks like Jalen's got his helmet on, so maybe he can come back yep. in. Here he comes. Back in. 2-0, baby. And the blanket chip goes out. Four down. They see him coming back in. They're going to be keying on him. So, again, you could do a hard count here, but it's not going to get you a first down, only get you a couple yards. But uh, we'll see how disciplined we could be versus Jets and defense. Here we go, folks. Fourth and four. Back in the box time, obviously. Oh, Jay. Jay Stan is still up. First down, first down. That's all that matters. As as we get to Looks the one. pretty close. What do you think? I think it's going to be a first down. We got to the one yard line. 40 lives to punch it in from the one. Let's see what uh, Mr. Simpson says. Head official, white hat. Let's see that arm go forward. Come on. Mr. Simpson, show it to us. 20, King on the uh -oh. Stopping the clock, bringing the chains out. Looks good to me, but even if even if we didn't get him, we took for a six and a half field. off the clock, and they got to go 99 yards in the score. So this is where it gets interesting. But you know, the chain game's probably going to trip. Something's going to happen coming out. We're going to lose length somehow. You know, and next thing you know, we're not going to get a first down. You, you just just don't know what happens. You when you're not know. home, right? You never know. When you're you, not you know, home. if this was the Zayner crew on the chains, we would have had a first down. First Somebody down shortened easily. it up; it'd have been no problem for easily us. Easily first down. Uh oh, that looks short, doesn't it? Come on, White Hat. Uh oh. First down. If it's, if it's even, it's first down. Here we go. Yes, sir. Oh, great call, Mr. Simpson. Let's go. So here we go. Fresh set of downs. First down from Four the one. Four times to punch it in, baby. I, I, right now, I would go T. Mr. Schumann up the middle. Schumann. Let him drive Schumann it. See how it goes. Jalen's off with the big boy Evans. Let him punch it in, baby. Good lead blocks here from Blake. Blake and Jalen. Let's get it done. Trap inside. Oh, 
Blake Blake Thompson. On the outside. Nice Touchdown job. Pass. Nice outside counter play. Good lead blocks. Great start to the season. 2020 off six, to a great start. Six and a half minutes off the clock. Like we talked about before, I just going to have to have if the Cavs want to win. And of course, you know, just like last year, most of the time we went for two. Yes, sir. Uh, we didn't kick it very often, so we'll see what kind of two point conversion play we have. Maybe a tight end dump if we're. See what the defense brings as they're tightening it in. I know tight end dump was one of our favorite two point plays last year. Justin looks like they're not packing in too much, so probably yeah, they're going for two points. Run right it now. in with Shoe in, maybe. Same play. Nope, looks like it stuffed it. Not this time. Good drive. That's a win for the Cavaliers right there, man. That's Absolutely. A win. Six nothing start, 523 on the clock into the first quarter. Yes, Cavaliers will be coming out here shortly to come kick out, off to the Jetson. Come out with some energy on defense. You know, obviously as we looks like as the drive was going on and on, Jets has kept creeping, creeping and creeping. Yeah. So I would definitely think the pass is going to be open. What yep. scares me is yep. the backside blitz there. There was a couple times Tuck had to get rid of it. Yep. So hopefully uh, we could pick them up with our running backs a little bit, give Tucker some time. Yep. That was a nice thing with the scrimmage. I thought, you know, we, a lot of good things came from the scrimmage. One of them was our passing game. Yep. Uh, yep. Just you know, throwing nice passes to Marquez, even uh, to A.J. Cooper had a yep. lot of nice passes. But the best thing is the protection that night. Yep. I mean, we yep. Tucker had all day to throw the ball. I don't think that's going to happen tonight. But at the same time, if he could get rid of it quickly with a good pass, yep. there, there's, there's no way they could keep creeping in. And nope. then hopefully that will bring yep. that running now game keep, going. Keep those linebackers and keep those uh, secondary obviously honest in the pass game. And if they know you're going to run it every time, if they ought to be honest. They can creep and start blitzing and they smell blood in the water. And Tucker looked like he felt it pretty good coming on the backside, rolled right. And nice completion. Obviously, the second one's covered up pretty well. So but that's good that it's covered up pretty well because those linebackers are honest. And obviously, we ran the ball with Blake Thompson got six, took six minutes off the clock. Okay, here we go. It looks like Tucker Fisher is going to be kicking for the Cavaliers. You know, we talked about surprises sometimes. We'll see if Coach Kling's got anything up his sleeve right now. If we're going to say, hey, let's keep it deep again. We talked about this before the game. Yes, Judson has some athletic football players. You know, they're going to have guys, um, the, the sophomore this year, and I'll get his name here in a second, that was a stud as a freshman. So you know they're going to come at you. So this is the dangerous part. You know, the, the special team games, you got to make sure we cover. A little like pooch kick. Pinning them deep, might go out of bounds. Okay, yeah. no harm, no harm no there. Harm. Should be at the 35, 35 correct? The kick goes out of bounds. Penalty on the play. They're gonna make us re-kick it. Looks like that's a possibility. We're gonna go back five and re-kick. I think that's when you know you have some studs on your offensive oh. side. <laughs> if you're declining the 35 yard and say, yep. nope, we want to run it further, uh, you, you have some athletes. Yep, and I think their goal is not to kick it back to these athletic little Judson kids and they're trying to pooch it into a little pocket and kick it off the sheet. So it looks like number seven, Eli Blount, is all the way back for them. I can't pick up the other number right now. Number five, it looks like, Gabe Ellis just as well. So a senior and a sophomore all the way back for Jets and Blue Jays. Tucker Fisher again to kick off. Looks like maybe same spot, but he's going to kick it over their heads. That was a good kick. I think the second time it automatically goes to him. Like Put a wide kick out of bounds. Oh, he's, I, I saw the I coach. said re-kick maybe? I, I think you could, Coach Lambert says, nope, sorry guys, you're going to have to kick it again. Yep, yep, yep. This is when you give him the shock and you just boot it boot and let it, it go to the, yep, let it go to the end zone. Tucker looks like he has a leg for him. He man. does. He does a good kick there. Jays have elected to redo the kick. Well, maybe Coach Lambert knew what was going on, and now they're going to catch it at the 30. Yep, <laughs> yep, okay. yep. It's a lot of open space over there by number 40 for North Judson. So, I mean, that's, I think like that clean. was the one. Yep, Cheyenne Allen. That's who it was last year, their running back. That was very good. Good basketball very player, if good. I remember right. Great football player yep. just as well. Made a pretty big difference last year in that sectional championship game. Yep. All right, third time's charm. Here we go. There you go, Tuck. Oh, over yeah, get heads. it over their heads. Oh, yeah, nice. touch on top there. of it. Cover. Cover. Yep. Here we go. Break down. Break down. Break down. Had a boy Shane oh. Schumann. Come on. Rap, there you go, rap, Ian rap, Brown. rap, rap, rap. Nice. There you go, Ian Brown. Hey, it turned out not, to be a good positive right there. to the 20. 
Let's make them earn these yards here. Good thing I think I saw over the Culver sidelines, Hunter Taylor, and uh, he's getting a break. Jalen obviously is getting a break, so let these boys recover, get water in them. And, and this is where, you know, offensively, I think we had a lot of people back, a lot of some experience coming back as well. Defensive side is where we have the players that's first year. You're, you're going to talk about um, Noah Pratt all the way back at safety. You're yep. going to talk about Jason Cadle at corner, Ian Brown at corner. Kids that played some JV last yep. year, we'll yep. see how much experience they gained. Yep. Looks like wishbone, isolation right on top. Number seven, good Tucker, job, Tucker. Nice job. So that was number seven, Eli Blount, yep. the senior. Good like gain on the on the play. Looks like about six, you yep. think? Five or six here. Good tackle by Tucker Fisher. He knew Justin was going to come out and pound, pound, smash, pound, too, right? Football, like, just like we did. You know it was coming. So yeah, it looks like on the right here, right corner is going to be Noah Pratt. Looks like Cadle's back in the safety position. Yep. And then Ian Brown on the right side. Yep. Tuck. Looks like Tuck and Blake are playing our ends. Yep, looks like coming Outside out. Outside linebacker. Isolation option. Nice, nice, good job. Nice, nice job staying disciplined. Tackling the fullback, Dalton Binkley, yeah. Hunter Number Evans. 19, looks like they're people. flying around, having Logan fun out there. Brings up third down. Yeah, I think when they run the option, they're really going to test our, our corners a lot. Can Noah Pratt step up? Can Jason Cadle step yep, up? You know, yep. Obviously, we know Tucker and Blake are going to try to hold their own and make yep. them pitch it, but then our corner is going to have to step yep, up and do gotta it. Yeah, step up, make plays. Looks like we Not got a what, bad job here. Schumann and Zayner at our uh, middle linebackers there. Yep, Schumann and uh, Alexander 74. Looks like pitch outside. Yep, and there you go, bouncing around. That's what we're scared about. Number seven, Ian Brown chasing him. Yep. So Ian Brown, number seven, looks like he won about 75 yards, I think, on that play. Yep. Obviously notches up at six to six. And again, that's what defensively we're going to have to talk about is I think we're going to take care of the inside. Right, yep. Outside is where it's going to get scary. Yep. That's where our inexperience is going to be. And then comes down to can you keep your head held high, keep yep. playing through this, knowing you're going to get a big take plays. Take time off the clock. If I remember correctly, Judson did have a kicker last year that was pretty good. Looks like number 21 is going to be their kicker, J.J. Blount, a senior. Number 21, J.J. Blount. Hopefully now we got that out of the way early. It doesn't Aldridge, hurt us late. That's outside run plays. Looks good. Well, there, there's your difference Let's between puppy styles. Going. So we're going to try to pound, 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 yep. and grind as much time as we can. And I think Judson wants to fly yep. <laughs> as much what, as they can. That's why it's so important for Culver to waste as much time. If we can go take this possession into the second quarter, I think that's a win for us again. Obviously, like I just said, hopefully Coach Hollenball on the defensive side of the ball can get that figured out, squared early, since they know they're going to try to attack the outside now. So talk to me a little bit, obviously, as a player. It's week one. Conditioning's not always there. When you have, you know, we're going two ways. A lot of our players, our, our depth is not where probably it wants to be at this time. When does that start kicking in? Is that about a second quarter thing? Is that immediately first quarter? When is it like, oh? Uh, I would say like right at halftime, you come out halftime, you know, obviously you're not as fresh as you are starting the game. And then you try to get stretched out as much as possible. Then obviously in the fourth quarter when late game happens. But the best thing about it is we aren't in the NFC anymore. And we're playing teams that have guys going both ways just as well. So I know Coach Kundo says it's not an excuse anymore. They're playing both ways and try to be as tough as we can and fight. I know they condition as much as possible. Obviously you can't overdo it. And I mean you can only condition so much on Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And Thursday is a bad day. So. Okay, here we go again. Cheyenne Allen, uh, number 40 for the Blue Jays, will be kicking off. Last time we did a pretty decent job of uh, Shane Schumann catching in the middle and going about 10 yards. We'll see. Again, I'm always skeptical about these kicks and make sure we have the front guys ready to go. Yep, yep, yep. Looks like a deep one again. Uh-oh. Pick it up. Number 24, Brady Kinderney. Brady Kinderney, freshman, number 24 on special teams there, caught looks it. Looks like Blake Thompson's out right now. Looks like something maybe Tackle out. On the play, led by the lower half of his body. Craig, looks like they're going to put Craig. Travis back on the offensive line and then Hunter Evans uh, in the backfield for the tee. Again, I, I know it's early and we've had obviously Jalen 
either cramping up. It looks like Blake or something's yeah, going on. it looks on. like Blake actually cramping up in his calf, maybe. Uh, unfortunately, we First can't afford to do that. You know what I mean? Hunter Evans is a great offensive lineman. Yeah. If you have to move him to the back, and I know it's all yeah. lineman almost for us, but yeah. at the same point, bringing in Travis Blankenship, who got limited time last year, he's going to have to yeah. grow up really, really quick. He was taking reps, and, I mean, there's no better way to do it than getting live action the first game of the year. Looks like Shane Schumann on the outside. Got a couple there. Yeah. Looks like maybe a gain of maybe one. Maybe Shane Schumann on the carry. Tackle on the play by number 40. I think the Shane chain gain's having a hard time seeing in the sun just as well, so they're going to wait for the official to come over. He didn't move much off the sticks no, at all, really. did he? No gain on the play. All right. Brings up second 10 for the defense. I think this is a huge drive for us. If huge we drive. three and outs, it's going to give them all the momentum. We yeah. want to definitely make sure we keep uh, eating up the clock, see if we get down to at least to the yep. end of the first quarter. No Judson. contact there. Judson, Judson jumped a little job. bit, but stayed disciplined, didn't get that contact. Reading the armband. Oh, nice. Jalen. Good, Jay. Put your head Put down, your head down. Over. First there you down, go. take some time off Number the clock. Excellent job I'll there. tell you what's impressive is that Zayner has the kids reading the armbands. That's like, that's <laughs> next level stuff right there, well, that, actually. like That never happened when you played. I don't no, think you could read just, the <laughs> armband. Not read the armband, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, di different level that there. Is, that is some impressive stuff, actually. I asked, I mean, Zayner about it. The kids said to get it down really well. And that's like, I mean, that's next level stuff. Audible at the line and staying disciplined. Trap. Trap. There we go. Oh, yeah, they didn't know who had it. Look at that. Come on, Shane Schumann. Get some wheels, Shane there you Schumann. Go, Shane. Here we go. Plow him over. Touchdown. Oh. Touchdown, Cavaliers. No, he's in. Touchdown, nice. Cavaliers. Great That's trap. That's a good fake right there. Absolutely. Hopefully we get this two, make it 14. Great trap. They didn't have an idea who had the ball. Shane Schumann, great run. You know, you know, last year was always with Zach Dittmeyer in the back. Uh, yep. I think everything out of Coach Sanders' mouth was trap, 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 trap. trap. Yep, yep. And, Trying and, to give it to the senior. <laughs> Absolutely. He was a great football player. And now we're kind of rolling a little bit here, mixing yep. it up. Jalen King, Shane Schumann coming to play tonight. That's yes, great. Sir. All right, this is important here. Obviously, up five could get a two-point conversion, make it seven. Good news is, you know, after a big score where Judson scores quick, kids didn't put the head down, refocus, great drive. Yep. See how this goes. Yep. Pass play. There's your tight end dump. Yep. That's their favorite two-point play right there. Judson did a good job. Linebackers Extra backing up. No good. Was All right, good, good, yep, yep. Good, good second drive, 12-7 Cavaliers with 2.23 left in the first quarter. Two seconds to go in the first quarter. The score is 7 Cavaliers 12. And I don't know, you know, local football here like that, I would imagine Judson's got to be the favorite coming back yep. for our sectionals. You know, they, they did graduate some seniors, some tough seniors, but at the same time they had a load of people coming back. Yep. And I would imagine they would have to be on paper the favorite. So. In my mind, if we could compete with them in game one, oh, obviously, no and we know the change is going to happen all throughout the yep. season, but you could compete in game one with that favorite. That should show the boys, hey, oh, we can do this. Yep, they can play with the big boys, and obviously, Justin, you know, they're feeling good about themselves, and they lost the regional game to the state champs, LCC, so, I mean, they're probably feeling good, and they feel like they have a chance bringing some boys back. And That was a nice drive by the Cavs. Not getting their heads down, like you said. Number five, Gabe Ellis, and number seven, Eli Blount, back deep for All right, the we'll see what we do this time. See if we're going to pooch it or not. See uh, Judson's backing up to the 10 now, knowing he kicked it over their head last time. So yep. maybe a little pooch in the, how about the 30-yard line yeah, there? That'd be a nice spot. Over there. Who, who we got? Number one there, Cato. Cato get his wheels going, see if he can catch that thing in the air. Three-point stance off the kickoff. I'm not sure who they're missing since Blake. I'm not sure if Blake's back out there or not. He's still down the side, I guess. Like, yeah. Uh -oh. Nice kick, okay. tough. It's a good kick. There we go. It did look like he raised his hand, didn't he? Oh, nice good pass, Shane. Nice. Oh, wrap them. Oh, no wrap, and here we go again. Nice job, Tuck. Yep. Nice job, Tucker. Push him out of bounds. Don't give him any more. Don't try stripping it. That's a good job by Tucker. Great job by Shane Schumann blowing up the middle, though. Great yes, job. He got a touch job. on it. Somebody's got to be there job. to tackle for him. All right, we'll see who comes out. Like you said, see if we see Blake Thompson. We don't see Blake Thompson here. So we got Ethan Thomas, number – that's not – is he number 32? He's he number 12, isn't he? He moved in and 
44, is that Brady Moist? That is Brady Moist coming in, good call. So doing a little shift here and see how this goes. Oh, Blake Thompson is back in, number 30. Nice. Taking defensive end. Nice, looks like uh, Brady Moist replaced uh, Noah Pratt. Yes, he did. Corner. Stop the inside ISO. Wishbone, isolation. Should be able to tackle there that, good go. job. Nice job, Dalton Binkley there, number 75. Number JJ Blount on the carry. Good for two yards, number 75. Again, Dalton nice Binkley thing is, I, I think we're doing a great job up front. Defensively and offensively doing yeah. a great job up front. Handle on our own and playing tough football. First quarter's almost done here. Brings up second and eight for the Blue Jays. Make these boys earn their points and yards. And Hampton under the snap for the Blue Jays. Cheyenne Allen in the back. Cheyenne Allen gets it. Had him wrapped up for a second. Yep. Number three, Cheyenne the first down. Driving forward for a Blue Jays first down. Again, doesn't bother me. They could, they could take their time just as well and eat up 10 yards at a time. We just cannot give up the big play. Yep, no, no outside. Out, we got to stay tough on the outside. and. Looks like Hunter Evans comes off for a break for Hunter Taylor on the defensive line. Get Hunter a break. He's obviously playing offensive line and backfield. So. Looks like Shane Schumann shook, shook up a little bit. Isolation, oh, weak almost side. Almost lost it. Okay. Good job, Tuck. Number 21, J.J. Blount on the carry. Looks like about a gain of four, so it'll be Tucker second on and the six. Number five, Tucker Fisher. Looks like Tucker may be cramping up a little bit. Good for Left three hamstring, three stretch it out, stretch it out. They're what? switching, uh, they're switching wing guys every play. It looks like Colin Judson is in play to play, so. Okay, coming out with wishbone once again. Isolation left. Tied, yeah. Attack left, we're back. Again, I just remember how impressed I was with him last he year as a solid, freshman. Solid, solid football player, First man. Down. So again, of course, you know, it's just kind of like the wing tee. If you just fall in love with trap, 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 they're going to yep. hit it, and then you're going to hit the outside. So yep. we got to be careful here, the outside guys, coming at us. Those inside guys have got to tackle the first give. Looks like Tucker's getting a blow. Well, we only have 10 guys. Oh, Hunter Taylor doesn't know where he's going. I think we got a timeout there yep. because we didn't know. Smart play by Zane. Smart call, smart call. Timeout, Cavaliers. So Tucker had to come out just as well to get a breather in. And uh, obviously Hunter Evans was coming back in for Hunter Taylor. Yep. <laughs> and then Hunter Taylor had to go back in. Clean He's like, where do you want me to go? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and that happens especially with the uh, first, first game of the year. You're going to get those things in and out. So hopefully, uh, you know, at some point, you know, and this is why – it's so hard when you're that 1A school where you say, okay, we're going to have to sacrifice, and Jalen King, you're going to have to play some defense a little bit. You know, our one ways are not going to have to happen. We're going to have to have you both ways. So, yeah, and, uh, What's actually impressed me is both teams actually are looking good considering the fact that there wasn't really much scrimmages. and I mean, they had a scrimmage last week, but there wasn't any seven-on-sevens in the summer. It was just quick picked up in late July. They're doing both goods. Hardly any penalties. I'm not sure if we had one yet. But. That's a good call. Good yeah. clean game so far with that. Only penalties were on the kickoff. Yep, on the kickoff. Yeah. Yep. So that's that's Kicked pretty out good. Of bounce. Pretty good first quarter where you don't see many flags. Yep, yep. And that's and again, that's always I always when I coach in basketball, always a sign of a good officiating crew where you don't hear whistle, whistle, whistle very much. You yep. let the kids play and let them dictate what happens on the field. I don't know if I see Tuck back out, so he is not. Looks like Hunter Evans has switched back to outside linebacker for Chuck, and then I have Hunter Taylor on the deep tackle for him. Yep, Pass. here's your pat. Oh, Brady Moist bit on it. Wheel route. Hey, Hampton Pass is complete for number 21. Yeah, go down for a Blue Jays touchdown. Good wheel route there. Good wheel um, route. I was actually watching the far side and saw it. I think both receivers were open. Yep. That would probably be your linebacker position with your position yep. corners took them out. Yep. So our linebacker. linebacker looks like they bit on the option fake, and that route is tough to stop. Obviously, you see it on Saturdays, Sundays. That wheel route is tough, tough to stop, especially when they're wishbone offense faking the give. You're having a good throw by Hampton there, right on yep. the money, and Blount catches it, and Blount's getting ready to kick. Looks like it's good. 
Both kicks right down the pipe for Bono. So it looks like 14 to 12, North Judson Blue Jays. 13 seconds left first quarter. Again, overall very good first quarter for the yep. Culver Cavaliers here. Yep. See what we could do on this drive. You know, I, I know it's not extremely hot out tonight, which helps, I think, players with possibly getting cramps, stuff like that. But usually, you know, week one, week two, the officials always do a great job of yep. calling timeout, making sure everybody gets enough water, yep. uh, especially, as you said, with uh, the restrictions we had this whole summer with training. I would imagine that's definitely on the officials' mind yep. at all times. Extending water breaks, extending timeouts, stuff like that. Do a great job. What up? All right, looks like this time here we have Blake Thompson in the back, so Brady Kinderney not back there, so I take he must have filled in for Blake when Blake was out. So our three best backs in the very backfield. Good sign. Hopefully uh, Ian and Cheyenne Jason are ready for that to pooch kick at any time. It's a good looking uh, kickoff return there. Good guys up front just as well with good hands. Number 20, Jalen King back deep for the Cavaliers. Can't tell, is that Ben Lee? Looks like Ben Lee, number 84, yep, right ben down Lee. the middle. 6'4", Ben Lee. Good to see him out for football this year. Oh, yeah. Well, there's the pooch. And we did not be ready for it. One of those where, again, that yeah. always, that's always my fear, yep. is at some point you know it's going to come. Are you ready for it? Yep. I don't know if he meant that or and not. That it ball like, looked like it spun perfectly right, yeah. right to the side, and hopefully the Cavs are held high. Play the, some defense here and make them earn it, baby. And the, make this, them earn it. This is where the, the big play comes, usually yep. hit, hit here. So we'll see if we can get through that. A lot of heads low right now. See if we respond. And again, that's the I think the hardest thing when you're talking about freshmen and sophomores. They they hear the ball hit, they're thinking block, block, block yep. right away because they're told block, 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 and yep. you don't pick up the ball, and that's what's going to happen. All has to go is 10 yards. And there's a pass, yeah, big play. Oh, good hit by Schumann. Offensive. Ian Brown didn't see it. Good defense. I mean, he was there. Just nice got to see the ball. Nice hit by yep, and you got to turn your head and make a play on the ball. And that will take us to the end of the first quarter. North Judson, St. Pierre Blue Jays, 14. You're visiting Culver Cavaliers, 12. And you are watching Culver TV on RTC TV4 tonight. So we will walk the ball to the other end, be on the 20-yard line. So it'll be first and 10 for North Judson from the 20. Yes, sir. Extension water break here. And we can take a little break with them. We'll get some water ourselves in there. What do you think? No question. No question. Remember, fans, you can catch the Blue Jays in action next week as they travel to Caston to take on the Comets and HNAC play. Ticket details will be posted on the North Justin San Pierre Athletic Facebook page. Okay, coming out of the quarter break here again. First and 10 for North Judson. They just completed a pretty good pass to Sanchez from Hampton to Sanchez. Uh, I would imagine, again, they're probably going to start grinding here again. First and 20. I'm going to see uh, Cheyenne Allen. I'm going to call right now, Marcel. Yep, Cheyenne right Allen right up the middle. Yep. Yep, right up the middle. I'm going to try to see what Culver's defensive line's got. You got to tackle the fullback. It looks like they got it early, but they're going to test them all night. Sanchez is a pretty big name in North Dublin. It is, yeah. yeah. I know when I was coaching basketball, uh, they had Sanchez's brother coming through all the time, very good athletes. Yep, yep. Looks like isolation right yeah. up the middle. Well, the kicker. Number good stand up there, not bad fight. Yep. Looks like a 12-yard gain. 
First and goal, line. looks like, yeah, from the six-yard line. That's about the first time our, our defensive line really gave up a big hole there. Yep, yep. See if we Looks can like adjust. Staying, yep. Looks like a counter backside. They pulled their backside guard and kicked out Dalton Binkley. Shane filled it well, but obviously they're having lead blockers come in. And That's where you're, I think your safety, that's most important for them to step yep. up and make that play. Here's the outside pitch yep. again. Yep. Good cut by Blau. There you go, oh, Tucker nice Fisher. Nice job. Great job, Tucker Fisher. Stand him up, drive him back. Surprised me, Tucker Fisher is playing on defense today, man. He is. Absolutely. And especially coming off a knee injury. Don't know what it's going to be like. And going both ways, man. Great testament to Tuck about training, get himself ready for the night. He's ready. You know, he missed last year's championship game. And you know, his, his, yeah, his mentality, though, you know he's not going to miss tonight. He's, he wants to play as much as he yep. can, leave it all on the field, and lick his wounds up tomorrow yep. and be fine. Yep. The tough kid. Come out in the wishbone again. Timeout, no guilty. Sideline one. Oh. Mr. Simpson, that doesn't say just once. I think it was about a five time warning there. <laughs> Get a one time warning, and the next time it's a flag. I'll say that. You can see it there. Yep. They did that last year in the championship Trey game Hampton at least five or six times with some big yards. Yep. So I don't know if that's a Hampton Reed himself to seeing the hole there over top of yep. our, our nose or what, but he did a good job of doing that. And again, I believe he's a senior this year. If I have that right, he is a senior this year and great senior leadership to say, yep. hey, I can read this, I got this, don't worry. Yep. I remember that they took it took for a touchdown last year in the championship, I'm pretty sure. Again, Look right forward again right here, maybe. Yeah, maybe to right the right. Side, yep. yep. You can see the gap. Looks like isolation. Touchdown. Number five. Yep. Gabe touchdown, Blue Jays number five. Touchdown. Gabe Ellis, the sophomore. One yard touchdown. And that makes uh, North Judson three for three. Offensive possessions, three touchdowns. So yep. hopefully, again, you talk about Coach Hollenball, great defensive mind over there, get some adjustments going, try yep. to do something different, try to stand them up and get a stop somehow. Yep. Doesn't look like they came out with anything that Cavs weren't ready for. It just looks like they're playing tough. I think our front's doing a great job. Yep. You know, honestly, overall, they're doing a good job. It just looks like our DBs, our secondary, needs to fill a little bit better. And Humball get it figured it's out. Up and it's good. All right. Good point after kick. It makes it 21 to 12. Again, got to be ready for that onside kick. Got to be ready for a pooch kick, whatever it may be. Coach Clean's going to have some better hands up there this time. And this is where you cannot give up another one nope. of those because then nope. it's, it's heartbreak. Yep. It's, I hate to even say that it would be over by it that time, over, but it could yep. be over. Their offense is need, so explosive. Need the ball and need to chew some pocket. How about that seven minute drive again? Take us pretty close need to halftime. Half time. And I, I don't know, you know, obviously coaching mentality wise, if you feel you're better, I think you take those chances, yep. you know, and like that. So be ready for another one. So I yep. definitely think it, it'll be coming again. Now they do have the wind which they may say go and push it back. But I think they know we want to eat. We yep. want to, uh, We don't care if we start at the one. That's better for us. Let's yep. just keep moving it, yep. moving it longer. We so to off as much clock. And absolutely. More Justin coaches know that. Well, first line, second line needs to be definitely be ready to see the ball here. Number three, Shyamalan, back to kick the Have your hands ready right now. Looks like you might just kick it over here. He did. All right, Blake Thompson, here we go. Run hard. Go, run hard. Follow Schumann. Follow yep. Schumann. Oh, look awfully high on the hit, but how about that? Kick it off. Go tackle. Oh, yep. <laughs> Boys, number 40 again, like we said before the game. We know we we're going to be calling his name. Absolutely. He is a football player, man. He said, I got it, guys. Don't worry. I'll kick yep. you. I'll tackle. I got you. <laughs> he finally gets a, he gets he a gets break. A they said they pulled him off. <laughs> kick the ball. Jack of all trades. All right, here we go. See if we can keep our heads held high. 
I think Blake was looking for a, a face mask or something there. Was yep. a nice high tackle to the head. I think he was hoping for something. Ran hard. Yep, no big deal here. Yep. Let's go ahead go. and drive it out. Power T coming at you. Little movement there. Little pitch outside, good block. Nice. Okay. Foul blockers. Run them over if you have to. Yep. Not much gain number there. Got to get the offensive line the moving there. Tackled on the play by number 56, Keaton Redline. No gain on the play. Brings that second and 10. Look for maybe a pass here. To give you surprising. Looks like they're stacking the box up. Obviously, 21 playing six yards off the ball right now. It's like you said, it is definitely 1A style football. You have a lot of guys going both ways. Yep. You know, number seven, uh, number 21, as you talk about Blount, he's, he's doing everything for him, too. Yep, pass here. Up the seam. Nope, dropped it. Yep. Okay. Got to get backside protection for Tucker, like you said earlier. They're coming off the backside. He's feeling it. Obviously, you're not going to throw the best ball running. Yeah, there he obviously looking for Blake Thompson yep. going down. The uh, other side was open. You had actually Number even Cooper and Marquez open a little bit, but when you have somebody right in your face, it's yep, hard to it's see anything tough. and look. Especially for a team that hands the ball off all the time and passing up their first option. Brings up third and ten. Got to get protection. Here's big play for us is how we're going to handle this. Third and ten. Obviously, uh, we talked about this before the game. We can't have three and outs. And three and outs is going to lead to what Blue Jays want to do. So. Big play here for Culver, see if we could get anything close to eight yards at least to see if we could go for it on fourth and two. Yep. Maybe an outside run to either Blake or Jalen here. Inside trap. trap to Jay. Oh, nice bounce. Nice. Just go, Jay. There yep. you go. There you go, Jalen Nice King. job. Nice mm -hmm. run. Jaylen nice King. run, Jalen King. King being Jalen King yep. there, just being an athlete. Great job. Yep. Good bounce from the middle. Probably about gain of 14. Reset the chains, get that clock moving. Looks like the referee's waving the hand, saying keep it going. Here we go. There you go. I like the mix up of plays. Nice pass, keep them honest. Trap hits. Yeah, I definitely think they're probably thinking uh, pass, pass play on third, third and, and ten. ten. Yep. Yep. Like outside Thompson. of the plate, get a couple here. Yep. Push. Oh, nice break. Go cover, 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 cover. Great there you job. go, Blake Thompson. Excellent job. Good Gained about run, Blake 17 Thompson. yards. Yep. Nice hard Number running, baby. Blake nice hard running. Except the first the hit. Yep. Two. Took it. Tanner Kept Clay. his feet moving. Great Play job. First down. Looks like timeout North Judson. Kept a good timeout by Judson. Timeout Obviously, we're starting to heat up the clock a little bit. Yep. Their first. Again, huge drive for us right now. If we get punch it in, that's going to keep us right where we need to be, keep us in the uh, I said basketball, wow, in the football <laughs> game here, yep. and obviously uh, try to make sure that we don't give them anything before halftime would be really nice. It would be nice to see maybe a 21-20 yep. going into the, you yep. know, that way, or 21-18. 21-18, yeah. yeah that would be perfect. Look, Tucker's cramping right there, going to get him stretched out in the calf. That, that, that's the thing, you know, you can practice all you want, and it's just hard to go game speed all the yep, time in practice, time especially in practice. when you don't have the numbers to yep. compete 11 on 11. And yep. That was the always the biggest thing I always felt by 1A schools that was hard to do. You know, you go to the, the 3A, the 4As, they're going 11 on 11, one on one. one you know, on one. first string versus yep. first string, and that is huge. And, and that's why those guys are, I mean, even like just playing out, let's just say that's why they're better. I mean, they're going ones on ones every day. And that's how they get better going ones on ones. And, Absolutely, and that, I think that was the, you talked about the NSC a little bit. When we were in the NSC, that's exactly what it was. Yep. We're, we're going to Jimtown's New Prairies, and yep. that's what they're getting all the time. And Every time, yep. It's almost like we're the second string for them, and they, just, thing, they beat us. Yep, way. best thing about that was we played hard, but, I mean, obviously we played, it made us that much better when we did play, like the Tritons and the LaVille. Absolutely, and stuff and like prepare that. you for a sectional yep. just because of that, too. Yep. Looks like Trap Jalen, they sniffed it out. Yeah, they stood up our line that time. Our line didn't get a very good drive there. I saw Hunter Evans uh, almost in the backfield already and almost helping Jalen get up. So that's yep. never a good sign. So hopefully we can get a little pop back. I think this is, uh, you know, that pass territory, but at the same time, we want to eat that clock up. So <laughs> it's that fine line. Their offense is explosive. Maybe look for a quick pass here. Second and 11. 
Maybe a little out by a tight end or maybe Jalen up the seam for a quick one. Definitely the outs are open like you, yeah. Outs are definitely open. Like I said, yeah. Get rid of it, get rid of it. Get Go, rid of it. Run. you're good. Yep, yep, didn't lose too much, you're good. Looked like everybody was covered too. I saw Blake out there and Cooper out there, they were covered and Marquez was running a fly route. Yep. Cramping again. Cramping again, yep. Brings up fourth down and 12. Should be four, should be third, correct? Yep, third down. Injury timeout on the field. Now here, here's the, the real question here, and I don't know how this will work. If he has an injury timeout, he's got to come out of the game, correct? He does for at least one play, so I'm not sure. If Cato's our backup quarterback. Is Cato the backup yep. quarterback? Yep. So he might be coming out for a snap at least. I, and I would probably put about 100% chance it's not going to be a pass, pass play. play. Nope. Probably be a straight give off to Schumann or Jalen. Yeah, that's which always we haven't, thing, we haven't seen Chew in a while. Yeah, we need him. Great first drive of, of the night, and maybe here's a nice time to had a nice about 60 yard touchdown. Maybe feed him a little bit yep. more. And, and, and you know, again, it's easy for us to say up here and how it looks. And he's going both ways right now. He's playing oh, middle yeah. linebacker yep. and your fullback. That Probably is the toughest thing to do right absolutely. there. Absolutely, the workhorse for the Cavaliers. Him, Tucker, Blake, all controlling the ball and playing linebacker, the most energy on the defense. Tough to do. Seems like it's cooled off a little bit. Yeah, it feels good. Get that sun off our back a little bit. We are at Liberty Field at Blue Jays' nest, and I think we are on top of the nest. What do you we think? We are on top of the yeah. nest. Seeing everything. I must say, it's a totally different view for me. I'm usually on the sidelines oh, yeah. watching. This is yep. this is nice up here. It you is can nice. really see everything. Yep. See the holes and see what people are doing. Yep. A Thankfully, it's probably just a cramp for Tucker, nothing serious. So. Ask that all fans wear masks at all times. He's a tough kid. Looks down. like he's walking off, just so cramping. Got some water in him. All right, he's got to go, to go off for this play. Back. We're going to see Thank how you. this center quarterback exchange goes. It's always obviously different when you are the backup quarterback. How many reps do you get in practice with the first team? Is it with yep. your JV team or is it with the first team? Yep. So we'll see how uh, Jason Cato handles it. Obviously, he played JV quarterback last year, so hopefully yep. this won't be new. Turn and hand off to, uh, like you said, maybe Mr. Schumann and Mr. King and see what they can do for you. Yep. Best thing is an experienced center and snap, him snapping the ball. And we'll see what we get done here. I highly doubt it's going to be a pass. I'd look for Schumann here. He's a tough runner. Hopefully get you inside. And, and, and that's where, you know, if you're Jason Cato, you're hoping just to pretty much hand it off and say, Tucker, get back in. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Coach Zane is going to call a timeout here. Might get Tucker actually back into the game. I'm not exactly sure, but looks like he's coming out to the field. Timeout, Cavaliers, their second. Definitely turned into a beautiful night, that is for sure. It's supposed to drop out to 70 yep. by the time we're all said and done here tonight. Couldn't ask for a better night for Friday night football, first one of the year. Just amazing. You, you go around the local area and you see schools not playing what a match. Oh, yeah. Not getting week Come one, on week two. Yep. Bill, not getting week Volvo one or week two. Yep. It's just, just a shame. You know it's uh, possibly going to hit at some point. You yep. just hope yep. you can stay alive as long stay as you can. As long as possible. Keep playing as long as you can, which which is great. Yep. I think the coolest thing was I was, um, you know, keeping up with all the games. Knox and Winamac got canceled. And within, you know, the next morning, Knox found Southwood to play. I think, I mean, obviously that means that athletic directors are all in it for the kids. And, Absolutely. They, it's definitely need to see different matches. We talked about, you know, Pioneer picking up Chesterton. Yep. How often would that ever happen, happen when you see a 5A, 6A school yep. going to go play a 1A school? Yep. That's Obviously one of those you're going to talk about this forever, year, man. Yeah, that's, that's a cool thing. I imagine Pioneer will remember that, like you said, yep. forever. So looks like Cato, the timeout couldn't get tucked back in, so Cato's going to hand it off. Looks like Jalen counter. counter. Little counter, yeah. Yep. A little surprise there. It was down, rolled down. Number 56, Keaton Weatherland with a big stop. That will bring up about fourth and fifth. Nope, they only went back three. About fourth and 14. Yep. Hopefully, uh, hopefully yep, maybe comes Tucker. A pass or, I yeah, mean, match is gonna give, have to gotta be a give him time though. He's been pressured all night. Gotta let him see the field. Max protect, here we go. 
I imagine Judson's definitely expecting pass here. That'd be about the only good thing. Maybe you can sneak a Jalen King, hopefully uh, yep, maybe try to get something. Hash. That's Big the hardest piece. Here. When when you know you're run, 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 and you know they're in a passing down, that's where it becomes difficult because yep, we don't now spread look it at, out. Look at the safeties. They're playing oh, nine they're yards in. back. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, good. good job, Tucker. Get it away and didn't give him extra yards. Number hey, you talked Bruce about Bruce blocking it. the backside. Backside is not backside getting covered. Backside is not getting blocked. And, and that's the hardest piece because typically it's going to be your, your running backs picking them up, you yep. know, most of the time. But our running backs are going out for the routes. Yep. <laughs> so. And obviously you're looking for a 14-yard or more gain. Yeah. So it's not a quick three, four-yard. three, yeah. four-yard punt. Absolutely. The running backs can get out and block the defensive ends. Okay, here, here's, here's gut check time for the Cavaliers. Yep. 21 to 12 at six minutes left. Here we go. If we can get can't a stop afford, here, yep. man, we'll have life. Can't Not afford a touchdown. Especially a quick one. Not give up a quick one. Make them earn it. So Hampton under the center for the Blue Jays. Obviously Cheyenne Allen, number 40, as their main fullback. And I believe the Blounts and Ellis. Yep, looks like wishbone going right. Isolation. In. Nice there job, wrap them. Good job. Look like a little bit of Austin Zayner, Hunter Evans, seven, and Dominic, Shane Schumann. No matter what happens on this drive, make them earn it. No big plays. Stay ready for the pass. No big plays here, baby. No Speak, big plays. Speaking of passing, in our backfield, we have Brady Moist, 44, Jason Cato at the safety spot, and it looks like Ian Brown at the other corner. Like a toss outside, set the edge. Nice job, like hold, good job by Tucker. Flags. Probably a hold coming yep. back. Nice job, good defense, defense there. Good defensive yeah, stop right there, especially since the first toss went for a touchdown, nice touchdown right? run. Yeah. So as long as we get that figured out, I think you got to got to take him back here still. Even though great defense on that play, I think you still got to force him to go back. Yep. So bring up uh, a long play here for North Holden Judson. Called against the Blue Jays. Ten yard penalty on play. So it'll be a very probably second down and long for the Blue Jays. Looks like the clock stopped, which. It's fine, but no big plays here. Got to got to force a punt or even a turnover. That'd be the best thing. Can't give up second and almost twenty. Looks like a pass. pass. Play. Well, he's wide open in the middle. Shot Tucker Fisher hustling down the field to get the tackle. Pretty moist, not bad. Right there on coverage, yeah, right he just didn't coverage. get the tackle. Yeah. Not bad. Just got to get that tackle there. Good sportsmanship there by Tucker Fisher yep. helping out uh, Sanchez. Looks like Jalen's coming in for uh, a linebacker spot. Oh, Jalen's coming in for Brady, yep. actually. Yep. All right, we got first and 10 from about the 44-yard line for the Blue Jays. Five minutes left in the half. Yep, you know where they're coming, isolation right in the middle. I missed that, was that a delay? Can I miss? Maybe a false start on the offensive line. From delay the of the game. Delay of game. game. I'd even look at that clock. i say that probably shouldn't have been, should it? There's, I didn't think there was any way. They got it off pretty quick. Maybe a false whistle, false stop. Yeah, I, I don't think the clock reset for him. Oh. Like we're offsides. Offsides. Or, oh, illegal substitution, yep. maybe? Yep, probably 12 on the field, maybe. Gotcha. First and five for the Blue Jays. All right, imagine we're going to see a little wishbone action here. Yep. Hampton here with the snap. Roll option. Right. option. Good job by Blake Thompson. He did what he was supposed to do, right? Got to come up and fill. Stop him at the one. Yep. Yeah, yeah, Blake Thompson was caught there. Do I take It'll the quarterback or I take the pitch? He was extended as out as far as he could. 
Safety. Uh, got to fill. Kato, yeah, it is Kato. Got, yep. got to fill it. Yep. Got to fill it. Looks like he's doing a better job than the first couple times. We've got to come up and make a play, especially if they're washing down the defensive end. Blake looks like he's getting crack blocked from the wide receiver almost every outside play. Fullback, nice job. Cavaliers, nice job. Stood nice him up. Play. Yep. Number Cheyenne Allen, Cheyenne number 40. Allen no gain there. Bring up second down. Second goal. And I remember back, you know, well, we're probably talking eight years Less ago or so. Micah Bozinski was back there in the safety, and he would come in at 6'4 yep. and just lay the lay stick. Lay the stick. He it was, was a yes. I remember against Knox uh, coming on the sidelines. I was going to stand watching, and I thought it was the coolest thing ever, him coming down and making plays. Quarterback, quarterback sneak, sneak yep. touchdown. Hampton. Ray Hampton, quarterback keeper good for a blue Jays touchdown. And, and that's what's probably going to happen. You know, as we go through this season, is you're going to have to get of experience to yep. the to the Ian Browns, the Jason Cadles, the Brady Moises. Yep. You know, they're going to have to gain some experience and say, hey, hey, we need you to help. You know what I mean? We need you to step up. Yep. So hopefully week by week they grow, week by week they get better, and then hopefully, you know, you bring it all together when it comes about week eight, week nine. Yep. Ultimately, you want to be playing your best game around, like you just said, week eight, week nine, and getting ready for the tournament. Obviously taking every advantage of the opportunity you can get. Good, Good job there by get uh, number 21, Blount. Get some four points four. here going in the half. 12, so that puts the score at 28-12, North Jets and St. Pierre Blue Jays. Four minutes left. Again, you know, I'm, I probably said this way too often tonight. We have to make sure we're ready here for this kickoff. We cannot allow them to recover and reload. Yep, we got it. Obviously, we're going to take time off the clock now, but that's the thing with the power T. The worst thing about it is if you fall down. Hard to get back. Hard to get sure. back, yep. Now yeah. all you can do is play stout on defense. Yeah, we're not built for that. We're not built for the quick score. We're nope. built for the let's take seven, eight minutes off the clock. Yep. And, again, that that style is going to keep you in – in football games against the North Judsons. Yep. That style is going to hopefully help you against the Pioneers, the yep. Knoxes, and, and things like that. But, you know, we got to make sure that we're focused, we're playing our best effort, and whatever happens from there, it happens. Yep. Obviously be ready for an onside kick here. You never know after they do it once. So. Looks like they're more ready. They're Cheyenne Allen will be back to kick again for the go, so. back All it takes is once, I guess. Be locked in. So Cheyenne Allen again for North Judson number 40, kicking off. We'll see if he kicks and tackles this time again. We'll see, we'll see what happens here. That was here. a nice football player right there. A nice football player. He's impressive for a sophomore. Looks like a deep kick. Blake again. Here you go, Blake. Cover it and run hard. Cover it and run hard. There you go. Good job. There you go, Blake Thompson. Excellent run back. Good run. Okay, get it down to the 36-yard line. Cavaliers will have first and 10 with four minutes left. See how well we do Looks again. Looks like they're bringing in some big boys for the D-line. Biggest thing that we can't do is obviously give it back to them. Don't yep. give it back. I don't care even with a minute. Yep. Just don't give it back to them. Nope. <laughs> sustain a drive here. Sustain the football. Sustain the drive. Maybe even score here. And I mean, worst, worst comes to worst, we go down 28-18. Obviously, you're hoping for 28-20. Down eight at halftime. We take it right now. Yep. Like trap Jalen King up the middle, sniffed out. Yeah, line's not moving anybody. See again, nope. Hunter Evans, Number Alex Zayner, and looks like Austin Zayner there, yep. standing straight up there. Once the ball goes, we got to drive him. Yep. Got to drive him back like we did on drive number one. Yep. Comes up second and ten. I'd like to see a little bit of Shane Schumann here. Yeah. Got to, got to. Gone quiet here. Yep. Obviously, he has enough speed to break away. Tough runner, give you four or five. And, and imagine Judson's reading the keys. If they know they see Jalen yep. yep. in that fullback spot, so to speak, they know a trap's coming. Yeah, trap's coming every time. Obviously, linebackers are reading the guards. Outside play to Jay. Good spin move. Good spin move, give you one or two. Again, we're, we're, we're struggling right now with that offensive line. That I thought we did an excellent job the first two possessions. Our, our, I thought our front controlled what we needed to control, and right now we're kind of slowing down. Again, maybe that's fatigue, but you're playing both ways. Maybe it's setting in right now because it's you know week one and we're not there yet. But uh, here, here's where we have that gut check time here to make sure Jetson does not get the ball back and get a chance to score. 
Hard count, what do you think? Hard count here? Hopefully a hard count, maybe even a quick out, give us a fourth and short, obviously we go for it, so we're a four down territory team. Outside play to Blake. Good job driving his feet. Yep, push the pile line. All right, not bad. Yep. Number See if Justin calls timeout here. By a host of Blue Jays. Be fourth and five. Fourth and five the best thing is we took off time off the clock. Let this run. Again, see if Judson calls timeout. They are not. Yep. Yes, they are. I spoke too soon. <laughs> Time Again, out, smart. You have your offense is rolling the way it is. Yep. You definitely want to give yourself a chance. Yep. Looks like it's fourth and six, so even a hard count wouldn't get us a first down, but uh, we'll see how creative we are here. Again, Good. I don't Two think we hunt very often. No. <laughs> so, obviously, a four-down we'll territory Bro. team. I'm, I'm going to say a pass because obviously our, they're sniffing out the traps and the runs. Maybe an outside run to Jay. That's hit a couple times. But. You know, obviously, when you play, we were more the pro style. Coach Zane was coming from Rochester at the time yep. and brought his Rochester coaches and stuff like that. How do you think this offense would have fit for you, McBee, some big boys that we had then? What do, what do you think, even with Troy Bowles in the backfield yep. at that time, what do you think, think would have happened? I think the best thing about it would have been, obviously, the O line would have been good, but Josh Kersey hitting the trap every time would have been. I mean, he's a tough, tough man style, obviously two or three yards every single time. Like, I mean, like, just like you said, though, if we fell down, it would have been tough to come back, but. You guys didn't fall down quite often. Though. No, no, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, big play here. So Cavaliers coming out. Looks like Cato's in. I don't know if that means we're punting. He's, Jay's not in the game. We must be punting. Yep, punting the football. Smart decision, I think, by Zayner. Number five, Tucker Fisher back to punt. Cover it, cover it, cover There's it. There's nobody there. Get out of bounds, please. Yep. Yeah, we had nobody close. All right. Here we go. North Judson takes over with two minutes left. Two minute drill for North Judson here. Going from, looks like, the 38 yard line. And I imagine they're, they're going to pick their poison here. They're running the ball well. Oh, yeah. They're passing the ball well. What do you think? Pass on first play here, test what we have. And I, I see Jay's in the game to help have, cover. Yep, I think they have some uh, timeout, so throwing the ball wouldn't be a, or running the ball wouldn't be a bad option. But They should have one timeout, one timeout left. left. Yep. Might want to save that one for late. But. Okay, need to stop. Obviously need to stop here. Looks like a pass. Uh oh, he's wide open. That's Jay getting beat. Well, you heard it there. Yep. 65 yard touchdown to Sanchez. Jay bit on the, the run fake and went past him right away. The bad part is he's in the game because he has that experience and knowledge yep. to say, hey, I'm going to defend the pass, yep. and it still didn't happen. Not good, especially the first play. Well, Got to make him earn it. to 35 Let's to 12 go. and you know this is where 35. especially week Let's one go. you're going to test your mental yep. capacity your mental strength here because you yep. know more than likely this game's probably over it's yep. 35 to 12 what can we work on yep. next or we're better for game two, two. Yep. against south central and, and this is a time honestly when you're a teenager teachers say hey i'm done i i quit mentally yep. my effort's not going to be there and obviously coach Xander, coach clean um and the boys are going to have to do a great rah-rah speech at halftime to say hey we got to get better in the second half yep. uh you know one game is not going to make your season, but at the same point, you better be ready for game two. You know, yep. co coaches always talk about the biggest improvement usually is from game one to game two, two yep. and, and we need to make sure we have a good second half to keep those things going. Yep. I agree, I agree. Heads up. Keep hitting, keep playing Obviously hard. knew that they were going to attack our um, our DBs. And our inexperience, Our absolutely. inexperience, yep. Which a good team always does, so. And here's how, how do we respond. I know Tuck's cramping up. Jay's cramping up. 
Blake's cramping up a little bit. Is this where you want to say, hey, I'm cramping, I'm done for tonight? Or are you going to say, no, hey, I'm, gonna, yeah, I'm playing for you, yep. you're playing for me, we're going to do this together. Yep. It speaks volumes, uh, uh, so we'll see what kind of character and what kind of, you know, I guess, pride that we have tonight just as well. Yep. I probably wouldn't expect a, an onside kick here being up 35 to 12, but you never know. First pass early. Looks like we have Blake in the backfield and Brady Kinderney came in for Jay again. Last time he caught the ball, he's a little unsure. Yeah. You know, as that freshman, oh my, you know, first time ever in. Yeah. So hopefully this time he gains a little confidence. He's an athlete as a freshman. He's an athletic young man, plays very good basketball just as well. So hopefully yep. that hard nose mentality will come in if he gets a chance to run it here. Cheyenne Allen with the kick, right down the gut. Right to Blake again from third straight time. Shane Schumann get a block. Good job. Oh, here we go. Oh, there you go, Blake. almost. Oh, nice shot, Marquez there. Absolutely. Marquez throwing a good block there, holding on, playing to the whistle. We like that. Sounds like Justin Coach is really happy there. There's a pretty big hole that Marquez and. Uh, Obviously, Shane, Shane yep. brought there and almost allowed Blake to split it and go. From the 36 yard line. All right, so see who we got in the backfield here. Obviously, we see Tuck talking to Coach Zayner. See uh, Shane Schumann. Don't see Jay right now. Jay still cramping up over there. Good thing is Tucker looks good. He looks running. We can get a score here, man. Will help. Obviously, any positive will help. Looks like Hunter Evans is in the backfield. Yep. So right yep. Blake Chip comes in. Yep. Thank you. Move down the guard. There you go, Blake. Hit it hard. There oh, you go. There you go. Knock Throw Alex down. Yep. down. Oh, there you go. go. Good Blake. run, there you Blake, go, Blake Thompson. Thompson. Nice job, Blake Good Thompson. Run, Blake Thompson. Gain of about 15 Thompson. yards. Way to run hard. Again, that's what we're talking about. Just yep. play hard. Don't care about the scoreboard. Play hard. Yep. Tackle on the play by number 84. Yeah, see if we got our uh, hurry up offense in at all. Number 21, JJ Blount. First down, Culver. You know, the funny thing is, you know, we used to talk about the hogs up front, getting yeah. that line. Maybe mini hogs right now. Mini hogs. Mini hogs right need now. It. <laughs> oh, traps for Thompson, you think? Yep. Nope. Shoe. On the outside, run hard, shoe. All right, not bad. Number 40, Shane Schumann on the carry. Stopped that might be his uh, first carry since uh, about the second yeah. series there, yep. so. Love to see more of him, man. He runs hard. Yep. He's a big body, too. Big body, Always absolutely. moving forward. Looks like Blake is uh, blowing some Ends air here. He's a little tired. Playing both ways. Again, I know you talked about about halftime is where you're really feeling it. you got to oh, dig yeah, in. Yeah. So I imagine they're feeling it right now. Second in a long nine here. Trap to Schumann. There you go. Shoe. Hang on to it. Drive. Attaboy, Hang on to it. Shane Good Schumann. job, Shu. Good job, Shane Schumann. Again, Shane Schumann's a sophomore, so he's come a, a long, Shane long Schumann way. Did a great job. I know in middle school he played a little running back. Yep. Uh, then last year played it for the JV. Yep. Uh, played linebacker for us as a freshman, so you know he's that hard-nosed mentality yep. and tough mentality. That's why I love to see more. 30 seconds left. I'm not sure if we have any timeouts, but expect probably a deep pass here or maybe even just trap again and get some yards. Try to get a first down quickly. Yep. Looks like Blake. Oh, oh, Blake. Oh, Blake. <laughs> One of those where it's like, yeah. great. To, oh. Well, probably had about a seven, eight yard gain on that and lost that way. See what happens here if Judson's going to just run a play yeah, here or not. Looks like they're probably just going to run a play. and Again, heads cannot be down here. Heads nope. got to stay up. You got 14 seconds. Didn't take him that long to score last time, so uh, hopefully we're ready to go. I see uh, Noah Pratt's in the game right now, playing corner. Back in for Jay. Hopefully we back up a little bit. There you go, Tucker. Thank you. Back up. Somebody else has a, 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 a wheel route. All right. Good job, Blake Thompson. Got him back yep. there. That's probably gonna take it to the half here. Yep, that will take us to halftime right now, and it's North Judson 35, your Cavaliers 12. And we'll take a quick pause to play some commercials a little bit, and uh, we will be back for second half action. 
Good job, Jake. What rhymes with great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. Hi, I'm John Oliver, letting you know that our pre-owned inventory has a history with no mystery. Most are one-owner, local trade-ins. We inspect each trade as if our own child was going to be the next owner. We do a 40-point inspection including brakes, tires, and wiper blades. Next, we review and update the scheduled maintenance. At Oliver Ford and Lincoln in Plymouth, a pre-owned purchase is a worry-free purchase. Simplify your banking with a simply free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open a Simply Free checking account. When your friend opens a checking account, you can both receive a free gift. It's easy as one, two, three. Simply Free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. Were you one of nearly 7,000 patients we served last year? If not, I'd like to invite you to check out our locally owned pharmacies. Transferring your business is easy to do. Just one call and we'll take it from there. While our competitive prices are important, our success comes from our knowledgeable and compassionate staff. Make Webb's Family Pharmacy your pharmacy. Just one call and we'll take it from there. At Oliver Ford, we reach beyond your dealership expectation, help you in making fun decisions on your new vehicle, or let it try our professional touch by our service and parts department. We are the only Indiana new and used car dealership that has won the President Award 17 times. With over 100 years of sales experience, we're here to hold your hand from start to finish with no pressure or gimmicks. Contact us today. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 160,000 participants here in Indiana who take part in high school sports. First Federal Savings Bank has provided mortgage loans for over 50 years, and now we're offering commercial lending. Are you looking to purchase commercial real estate, equipment, or open a business line of credit? First Federal Savings Bank is your locally owned community bank for all your business banking needs. Contact Lindy Breeden, our business lending expert, to take the worry out of your business banking. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, covered. just Ooh, the best now. bank. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there? Home, auto, life, yeah. business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. Hi, I'm John Oliver. We love our customers and we work hard to prove it every day. Buy a car? Get free car washes for the life of that car. When your car needs service, we provide a new loaner at no charge. Plus, we give you a complimentary alignment check each time we service your car. That increases tire life. And when you do need tires, we sell them at the lowest price guarantee. Feel the love at Oliver Ford Lincoln and Plymouth. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. There's been a lot of hype about CBD oil. The truth is, you better know what you're getting. St. Jean CBD products from Webb's Family Pharmacy deliver 99% pure CBD extract in a natural hemp seed oil. They are an Indiana-based company committed to quality and purity from farm to pharmacy. St. Jean CBD products are only sold in pharmacies. So talk to one of our pharmacists at your local Webb's Family Pharmacy to help select a safe CBD product 
that can help bring balance to your life. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, The Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit The Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. At Oliver Ford, we reach beyond your dealership expectation, help you in making fun decisions on your new vehicle, or let it try our professional touch by our service and parts department. We are the only Indiana new and used car dealership that has won the President Award 17 times. With over 100 years of sales experience, we're here to hold your hand from start to finish with no pressure or gimmicks. Contact us today. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer a wide variety of services for our customers. We offer a variety of deposit products, such as personal and business accounts. We pride ourselves in being one of the top mortgage lenders in Indiana. We offer commercial lending and business checking to help with your business banking needs. Through LPL Financial, our financial services department is here to help you with your financial planning needs. Come see us today and see how our family can help your family. shop at Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth, you're treated like family and it's a full service experience. Our expert service team can keep your vehicle happy for years from simple maintenance to major repairs. We even provide a loaner car if your vehicle needs to stay overnight. So we have an excellent source of demonstrator vehicles offered to you with substantial discounts. So search our inventory online or stop in for a test drive at Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth.
right, welcome back, everybody. We have about two minutes before we start uh, the second half. Cavaliers are walking on the way out from the locker room. It looks like North Judson um, is doing the same, so obviously they'll probably come out to the field, get their stretches in, um, and be ready to go. Sel, give us your first half analysis and thoughts. Here we go. Um, I'd say for Culver, um, you're not that experienced on the defense side of the ball, so I mean, if you come out and just play hard, I think that'd be a win. And Coach Ainer would applaud them for that, and then. Obviously, North Justin brought a lot of kids back, so you knew they were going to be good. I mean, if you can come out, and I'd say, I mean, you gave up 35 in the first half. If you could cut that in half, the deficit in half, to what you give up in the second half, I think it's a win. And for Culver, obviously, to score more than uh, 12 in the second half would be a win for them. Yeah, and, I, and, you know, going from the very first possession, I was pleased with our very first two offensive possessions. Did a great job. Obviously, scored on both of them. Um, you talked about it as we we're going a lot of mixing inside outside inside yep. outside just keeping Judson on their toes a little bit um, and obviously you know that the wind gets taken out of your sails a little bit you lose the momentum and the next thing you know we, we had difficult driving the ball and getting it where we well, wanted it to go yep. uh, so you know those are things I would like to see you know come back in the second half is just like get that inside outside game going and obviously we're not talking about with passing it's more just with the running mixing it in and out with different players getting touches yep. um, and, and doing a great job but uh, you know the biggest thing to me will be our fronts is our offensive front line going to come out and dominate like they did the first two possessions or are they going to give us what we had the last three you know yep. what I mean and that's the key for us on, on both ends and, you know you talked about defensively you know our backs obviously our backs are going to get experienced you know uh, baptism by fire almost where they're yep. going to be put in spots that they've never been in before and we'll live with that because we will adjust and get better you know so again does our front four our front five against the yep. run take care of it make them make that pitch and go to the outside yep. so you know to me those are big keys for me in the second half um, and, and then the last piece is mentally you know here, here's a time where it's easy to quit it's easy to say, hey, I'm done with game one. Let's look forward to game two. Yep. And I sure hope our junior leadership is that that's what we're looking for. Obviously, A.J. Cooper as a senior, we'll have to kind of talk to him vocally and say with people, but he doesn't have a lot of experience as well as some of those juniors have. The Tucker Fishers, the Jalen Keens, uh, Blake Thompsons. They're going to have to step up yep. and say, hey, get on my back. Okay, well, this game might be over, but we're going to play Cavalier football no yep. matter what. And I, I hope we see that in the second half. Yep. And just like, I mean, like I said, Jay will be happy. Like, I play for him. As long as you come out firing, and, like, just like it's the first half, and hopefully they got their legs back under them, and hopefully we come out, like you said, the first two drives and just drive the football. And got to, I mean, give Tuck some protection to pass the game. Uh, we're going to score some points. And all in all, it's a positive and learning experience. Every, every, uh, every play is a learning experience. Yeah, and you, you spoke it well there, you know. As a basketball coach, we always talked about it at halftime if it wasn't your way. Zero to zero. Yep. Score zero to zero. Let's have a new half. Yep. See if we can win the second half. And, yep. and then to more of a T, what you just said, it's play by play right now. Let's yep. take every play as a new play and make sure we're doing our best on that play. Yep. And, you know, and the last point that you made is about getting protection for Tuck. I think that's probably been the most disappointing thing tonight. Because I thought scrimmage wise, we did a great job of giving him time. He had options. Honestly, he had about four or five seconds to throw the ball and make great passes. Yep. If you don't give him any time, nope. it's going to be hard for Tuck to say, hey, give, get a good pass when I'm getting rushed all over the place. And we know Tuck is not the same mobility-wise mobility as he was last year. Yep. You get an ACL tear, you're not <laughs> probably as confident to push nope. off, yep. and you're not going to be as fast as you used to be. Yep. So, you know, those are things hopefully in the second half we'll see get better. Yep. So we're ready for week two. Yep. Love the energy right yep. now. Good, good. Good Cavs jacks there. Coaches were involved with us, so hopefully we get that energy level going. Yep. Unfortunately, we're going to start on defense. We're going to kick that ball and start on defense so our defense can get tested right away to right say, hey, away. what was, did you learn at yep. halftime? Yep. I was going to say, the number one thing is get a stop. Get a stop. Yeah, zero stops yet tonight. You know, they're, nope. they're seven for seven right now, yep. so defense is going to have to step up and do so. And I imagine Coach Hollenball is not used half. to that. You know, the, yep. I remember games where <laughs> he's, he's – shutouts you know and things like that so he is a defensive guru so we will see what they talked about at halftime to see what adjustments we make for the yep. for the second half maybe even a little bit of trickery why not <laughs> why not right so again the blue jays have their number five ellis in the background uh, or in the backfield they're um, a sophomore and number seven eli blount a senior I wonder if the Blount boys are cousins. Brothers. Twins. Twin brothers. Man, they had twins like two, three years ago yep. that were tough. Played basketball and good football. One was a quarterback, yep. running back. They were tough. Building trades on top the of Preddies. I bet you. The Preddies were brothers. Oh, no, the Wilders. Yes, yep. there you go. Yep, the I, I, I bet you 
Coach Elliott taught him everything they knew because oh, yeah. of building trades and, you know, distilled yep. that great, you know, yep. desire in him. So. <laughs> I remember growing up with the uh, Wildly Boys, great athletes, twins, looked just like, couldn't even tell them apart. Yeah. Field. 35, 12. Seems Blue like more Jays. people are getting on. Here we go. Let's start with the new wave. So. Good. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's the hardest thing is I would love to say, hey, follow this, but if you can't hear us or see us, I can't help you. So <laughs> the biggest thing is RTC TV app is not going to be working. Uh, that's why we sent the link out for that. Yep. Uh, nice boy, Shane, Shane Schumann. Schumann. Yep. Seven, Eli Blount on the return. So kick down the middle for Tucker. No pooch there. See how we do. And Shane Schumann did a great job covering It'll down the middle. And as we just down, stated, let's find out what line. adjustments we made. Uh, see if we're going to do something different, whether it's personnel, uh, whether it's technique. Um, on the defense side to see if we can get a stop. Looks like Noah Pratt's back out there. I'm not sure if Jalen's healthy or... So back to starters, it looks like. Yeah, back right? to starters. I'm not seeing Jalen out on the sideline. I'm not sure he's out there. But... Oh, he's getting stretched by the train right now. But... Here we go. Toss outside. Good job, Kez. Good job, Blake Thompson, it looks yep. like, right? Nice job. Sure playing with some energy. It's only number seven, Eli Blount on the carry. Tackled on the play. Yeah, obviously, first half, out, anything outside was big yardage seven. for him. So if we get... Contain him, force the middle, and let's yep. see Schumann or Alex Zayner get some big sticks. Yep. That'd be great. So second and seven. First possession of the second half for the Blue Jays. Obviously being in their traditional wishbone, wing back, wing tee, whatever yep. what lineup you want to call it there. Yep, they're coming out. I don't think they came in a, out in anything different today. Looks like isolation. There he is. Cheyenne Mr. Cheyenne Allen. Allen. He is gone. 62 yard touchdown run. And you, you said it at halftime off air. Yep. Can't wait to see that boy as a senior. He is going to dominate. He's going to be good. And if folks don't know him, you see him on a basketball court, same way. He's just a hard-nosed yep. young fella. J.J. Blount back to kick for the Jays. See if Blount can go eight for eight. The kick is up. It's good. 42-12, Blue Jays. I don't think my math's very good, though. You said eight for eight. We did. They have more points than that, so. Yeah. I think it's six. There you go. Six for six, yeah. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. That's why we hire math teachers and I don't teach math, you know. <laughs> right there. Here we go. Try to get some time off the clock. Yeah, Play we, hard. Run hard. That's all you can ask for. Yep, we do. Looks like they're... Uh, talking to our middle linebackers a little bit about how to handle that uh, dive and how to take care of it at yep. the same time as uh, in the huddle. And I, and I don't know if you've been a part of lopsided games like this as a player. I mean, what do you do? What do you tell yourself? What do you, you know, even tell your teammates? How, how does that even look in the huddle right I now? Mean, we always just, I mean, Josh Kersick was a great leader. He always just said, Play with hard and play fast. He can't. Number forty, Cheyenne. I mean, like you said, every coach is going to watch every single play on film. So you can't really hide from anything. Literally, whether you're down, up, anything, everything's watched. You can't hide your your body language is shown. Your head high. Obviously, all you can talk to yourself and say, it's one game, first week. Get all the bumps and bruises out now, rather than lose a late game. But how often were you a part of like evaluation? So coaches evaluating every single play. How often did that happen? In your, in your high school career, is that something that happens week by week? Yep, week by week, and then Monday morning they're going to watch and they're going to say, I mean, Coach Zenger is such a great coach, he's going to even talk to you about um, that kind of stuff on, you know, on kickoff, whether it's kickoff or kickoff return, and he's going to look at your body language. Yeah, I, that, I'm glad you just said those words right there, body language. Yep. I think that's big. You, you put that head down, it speaks volumes about what you want to be, what you want to do, and yep. I think if you could cure body language, you're going to go places. Oh, I don't yeah. care if it's on the football field, if it's in life, it's yep. at school academically. Body language speaks volumes. Yes. Yeah. 
think I did see Jalen come in the game, so it looks like our our backfield will be in full force with Schumann, King, and Thompson. Yep. Looks like Jay is in the fullback spot, so it might be a trap here. Yep. Trap, maybe an outside run to Blake. Good trap. trap. Yep. Nice bounce. Yep. Keep running forward. Keep running hard, Jay. Fall forward. Oh, he breaks it. Can he go? Can he go? Nice there shot. You go, Put Jay. your head well, down. Your head down. Absolutely. Good start. Good start. Looks like they have some energy. Coaches are coaching them up. Tackle on the play by number 88, Casey. Probably pretty Clark. close to about a 30 yard gain, yeah. I bet, there. Yeah. Pretty close to that. Nice run there. He got caught up about five yards in and broke it and exploded on the outside and ran hard. Those are things you want to see. Yep. Second half, that's what you want to see to yep. build some momentum. Somebody must have went out because Blanky Ship's coming in on the line, so I imagine Hunter Evans is going to the backfield. Yep. Not sure. Thompson, oh, Thompson come out. Yep, Thompson's okay. out. Blinker down in the guard, and Thompson. Like you said, and, and that's a hard statement. It feels like every other play we're doing this. Yep. You know, we have no consistency it's to say, tough. hey, this yep. is what we're doing. And that does make it tough. Yep. Change right him on the outside. Oh, nice Get slip. Couple. Good slip there. Had the backside coming at him hard. There you go. Uh, under Evans play yeah, hard. Yep. Gain of about two or three play. yards there, so Pick about second two. and seven. Brings up second and eight for the Cavaliers. Judson's doing a great job firing from their end spot. Yep. The backsides are really getting pressure yep. on us. Crashing hard and... So that's got to be our tackles, which again, our tackles are going down line, so they're yep. probably not really worried, worried about, about backside, the outside right? Guy, yep, and that's what's tough about the tee, as long as obviously you're going to put your, I mean, some of your best at 41 for Justin's a good athlete. Yep. They're crashing hard, they're coming backside. Does that mean our speed's got to pick up then, speed so we're not getting pick, it? Yep. Okay. You got to get the ball handed off faster, trap for Jay maybe, stuffed a little bit. Bounced it to the left side. Good blocking by Shane, shooting on the outside. Number 11, all Looks like Hoffa no gain there, so it'll be third and seven. No gain on the play, brings Maybe a quick pass here, like I said earlier. It's yeah. all four down territory. Hey, why so. not mix and mingle here? Yep. You got nothing to lose? Nothing to lose. Maybe show South Central some plays uh, that we may not run next yep. week. <laughs> Thompson's back in the game, so we'll get our typical lineup here. Jalen right in the... I guess, is that called the fullback spot in the T? Like pass coming out here. Oh, nice. Blake on the outside. Go Blake. Nice, Blake, like good touchdown. cut. Blake Thompson. No flags, no flags. Number That's a nice. good way to respond. Great start, yes. 33-yard touchdown, touchdown for Blake Thompson. Yeah. Keep up the momentum and keep every drive like this. I have, obviously, it's easier said than done, but first two drives coming out, the game, the game, touchdown. Got to keep it. Momentum going. And I guess, you know, it's hard to say what it is right now. Maybe fatigue is a factor. Yeah. I mean, first two drives great. First yep. drive out of the first or second half great. Yep. So maybe some of those things will have Justin to be. Justin has their starting guys out there. Yep. They're yeah. bringing theirs. We're bringing ours. Good possession. Yep. Got to be a two-point conversion. Back to Blake again. Like you got it. Yes, yep. he did. Good job. Good job, Convert. Yep. So 42 to 20 right now with 8.45 left in the third. Cavaliers score. Obviously, our kicking team will be coming back up and putting our defense for another try to get a stop. Yep. So it's now Blue Jays 42, Cavaliers 20. You know, this is, you know, a great thing that I always see you know, every game, but you've been a part of is coaches always coach. It doesn't matter what that scoreboard oh, yeah. says. You see our coaches nope. out there coaching their hearts out. You see Coach Clean, Coach Zander giving yep. it all. You you got Coach Hollenball, Coach Nice, uh, Coach Croy, but adding Coach Nice, he's, he's a fireball yep. guy. He, you know, he's an energy guy. So Pure it's just positivity. absolutely love to see our coaches do what yep. they do. And then obviously, even, even you even go down to the middle school coaches. You got Eddie Mobash being there, Jake DeVore being there. So it's an all-in factor, which which we love. I think that's what makes Culver so special to me, yep. especially being the principal of the school. Is just everybody is in for the same reason, and it's, it's about the players, about the kids, cool, and about the students. Yep. Yep. For the Blue Jays, number seven, Eli Black, that's my favorite thing about Coach Aaron. Obviously, Coach Hollowell Cling, they'll never stop coaching no matter what happens. And always trying to find out a way to get better, put it together for the next drive. Hopefully defense get a stop here and keep building. Yeah, and then I think, you know, 
you always talk about, you know, as coaches, are you transactional or are you transformational? And I think, you know, you could probably speak a lot of testament to it because you're still good friends with Coach Hollenbaugh, Coach Clean, Coach Lehner, where, you know, there's there's nights you've gone out to wings and, eat, oh, yeah. and stuff like that, stay in contact where that relationship is there. It's a brotherhood relationship. You're yep. a part of it. They're a part of it. And uh, I think that's a, a nice, unique thing that you guys have going on with that. Yeah. It's awesome, like, even to talk to those guys, like, still this day before the game, talking to them about how they feel about the game and stuff like that. I was telling my buddy, actually, back from school, the best thing about Polar is that no one's entitled to anything. They always keep it 100% honest with you. And get him tough. Push him out of bounds. Attaboy, Tucker. Good close, Tucker. That's the second time tonight Tucker's had to make a touchdown save, kick the ball, and make it. Oh, we don't like that, Tuck. Don't limp. Please don't let that be a knee. Only be a cramp. And the helmet comes off, and he's punching the ground. I don't like that feel. I sure hope it's not his knee. Hopefully it's just a cramp. Maybe right leg, calf. I don't know the way he's reacting yeah. right now. I don't think that's a cramp. He's punching the ground. Injury time out on the field. Fans, keep those 50-50 tickets handy. We'll be making the drawing at the end of the third quarter here. Then advise the pot is $175. hope for, for him, for us, and for everybody, that's not the same need. Yep. I, I know last time we were at casting, he got up on his own and walked off and we thought, okay, he's good, no big yep. deal, and then found out bad news with it. So I would imagine he's probably done for tonight, yep. I would assume. I would keep him off no matter what, whether he's got a long season ahead. Yep, walking really slow. So again, for, for his sake, Let's hope uh, it's nothing major. And that was, a, you know, weird because he obviously tackled the, the player up high and rolled him over. I wonder if it, when he was rolling over, if he twisted yeah. twisted his knee at the same time. Did a great job closing down. Tackle. It's tough. Especially, I mean, he's wearing both knee races, but I'm not exactly sure which one. Up last I think maybe the good sign is maybe that the, the ambulance went the other way, way. which is nice. Good. I saw lights and thought, oh no, oh, yeah, and then they, they, they went yeah. the other way. So yeah. don't know where they're going, which is probably not good. We're sorry, but it wasn't Tucker Fisher, so we're happy about that. Yep. All right, so obviously at, uh, we had to have a new outside linebacker come in. It looks like A.J. Yep. Cooper maybe. Uh, yep. Number 82 came in for Tuck. Isolation. Wants to give Gift, him yep. Again. Stacking him up. Nice job number driving 40, the pile by number 40 in the Blue Jays. Looks like number 64 is in. For us? Yeah. Number 64 on the D is line is William Gregory. William Gregory. Gregory, if I could talk there. Big Willie coming in the game first time tonight. Good for him. 
get him some experience. He uh, didn't play last year. It's been a couple years since he played. He's a junior this year. So number 64, William Gregory, welcome to Culver football. Looks like uh, Hampton's checking, seeing something. Probably going to be doing a toss maybe now. Nope. Isolation inside. Ooh, somebody, Alexander got Number put on his back there. Good block by Judson. Good for about a about 12 yard Good run, it looked like there. Nice job by Blount. Ball will be spotted at the 19 yard line, first and 10. Good sign is number 40 for Jensen's off the field. <laughs> the first time on We offense. got good news. <laughs> 41, now we got after there at fullback. Gave to him good bounce on his part. Nice bounce number by 41. Tackle by Schumann. Carry off the left side. That's number 41, Tabor Brown. He's a senior. So probably getting some nice uh, backup time Tabor for five, Cheyenne five, Allen. Up second and five. Great bounce, too. Good read on his yep. part. Saw the middle was clogged and bounced really hard. And they have athletes here, which is it's do, good yeah. for them. They have athletes. See Tucker kind of jogging on the sideline there. Wow, big hole. Number 24. As number 24 for the Blue Jays on the carry. Owen Frazier, a junior, 6'1 junior. Had a Pretty good size hole yep. that I think me and you probably could have ran through on yeah, that one. No I don't know if we would have got there as quick. Yeah. But, you know, hey, it's a nice run. One that you can say is Justin's O line and picked it up since the first. I mean, kick. first drive, runs weren't going for him, and ever since then, it's been open holes and they're getting the linebackers. And it's tough when you put a full head of steam running back on a one-on-one. -on -one experience in the second day. Yep. The kick is up. Hey, hey, I got this one. Seven for seven. seven. I got this one. That, that's good match. Seven times seven is 49. Look at that. Hey, it's, it's all about redemption. Yep. When you make that mistake, it's yep. how you react to that redemption mistake. Time. You know, some people may, you know, hang the head and quit. I didn't quit on that. Yep. I, you know, call the next one. You got you to be willing to stick your neck out, you know? Yes, sir. <laughs> so that makes the score 49 yep. to 20. North Judson over the Cavaliers. 645 in the third. Uh, big, big thing we'll see here is do we see Tucker Fisher again tonight? Um, obviously, he was hobbling. He was a little bit jogging on the sideline there, yep. and that's a tough call. You, you want him to probably come in and say, hey, he's good, but at the same time, we can't have him hurt. We can't yeah. have him hurt for defensive purposes, and obviously, we can't have him hurt for offensive purposes. If so. I was cold, I'd keep him off. I mean, the game, 49 to 20. You know it's in game, hand, yeah. Long yep. season. You let Ian Brown, I mean, Ian Brown, he could be a solid athlete. Let him ride it out. Nothing like the first week where everyone's rotating in and out. And yeah, now what, look I, on some positive side that more people are getting experience than anything. Oh, absolutely. Get yep. some time in. That's where you're going to get it at. You're not going to get it in practice yeah, with our numbers, so you got to get in the games. And I would assume that within about six minutes, you're going to probably see Judson's number twos come in, too. So that, will, I think, will help us a little bit just as well. Yep. Okay, we have Schumann, Thompson, and King. All the way back. Last couple kicks have been hitting about the 20 yard line, so we'll see if yep. somebody's ready to catch that thing and run. Good to see Jim back out there. And he's, he's up. He's up. Hey, here we go. Oh, he's going to get his opportunity. Here we go. Nice. Good cut. Good cut. Nice run, Jalen. Gets out about the 38 yard line, so Cavalier football, 6.38 on the clock, starting at the 38. 20, yep. Let's King see if number five there. comes out. Tackle on the play by number 40. Looks Tyler like he is. Ryan. Talking to Coach Zane right now. Well, that's a great sign yep. for us. Maybe that was like a, a Jerry Maguire moment. Remember the Jerry Maguire movie when, you know, just let me lay for a little bit, let me get that crowd reaction. I don't think that's the case with Tuck. He's too tough. He's too tough. He wouldn't want that. He'd bounce up. Great to see him back out, though. Good job, Blake. Put his head down, gain about two. Number 30. Maybe a quick pass here. Looks like Jalen King. Still got hit, yeah. Him and Binkley were knocked down because they were thinking trap. Dylan yeah. It'd be good to get Jalen here on another trap like the last possession. Will he bounce one out? 
How often do you know as when you're playing the game, do you see those keys? Do you, you look at number 20 first of all and say, okay, where's yeah. he lined up? Now we try to know yeah. where he goes. If I'm North Judson, I'm almost 100% positive. They're keying on Jay. I mean, they are keying on last year in the sophomore. They had them today, just like right there. Back side again. Yeah. on the play and, uh, number 41. Obviously, the best Brown. athlete. Saw him at yards. He rushed for last year. You always got to know. Where, like, coaches always know. I mean, I'm pretty sure Culver always knows where. Uh, number 40 is, number 41, yep. obviously the Blount but, but even predicated by where he's lining up, yep. correct? Because if he's in the fullback yeah. position, this is what's coming. Yep. If he's in another spot, that's what's coming. Yep. I think it was a, is that a tight end down. Well, blanket chip's coming in, so must be a lineman. Fifty-fifty, John, coming up at the end of this quarter. Man. A lot of cramping going on tonight, it yeah, seems like. Yeah. It's a cool night tonight. I hate to see what it's going to be yeah. like when it, next week and the humidity is coming hot. up. Yeah. Is it supposed to be hot next week? I believe the humidity the next couple days is getting back up where it was. It looked like, well, Austin Zaner, it looked like, went down. We're going to have a and new center coming in the game. Tonight, Blue Jay fans. Seven touchdowns scored by seven different Blue Jays this evening. That's team football. And I don't know if you just heard that announcement there. Their announcer said seven touchdown scores by the Blue Jays by seven different people. And, again, we, we talked about it a little bit earlier. They have athletes, and they have a lot of them. So uh, they're going to have a, a great season. We know that. We hope we get an opportunity to play them again in the sectional. That, that's what we got to hope yep. for is one more opportunity to play them. Yep. Trying to figure out what's going on in uh, the surrounding schools. Because right now you're listening to Culver TV on RTC TV 4. It's going to be third and nine Cavalier football. As I said, Austin Zayner went out of the game with an injury, so it looks like Dalton Binkley will take the center position. After the injury timeout, third and nine Cavalier. Blake Thompson, yep, good, good cutback. Yep, kept his feet moving. Four Gain down. about five, it looks like. Yep, probably fourth and four. That's the bad news is I don't even know what games are going on tonight that are big games. Because normally you had the Knox Winnemac game, and that was a huge game I saw, uh, for our conference. Tweet came out, and they said the first time since like 1997, 98, that Knox and Winnemac did not play yeah, first week. I was going to say, that's, that's a big loss, and I know Knox picked up, I believe, uh, Southwood, yep, correct? Southwood, yeah. So they'll be playing uh, Southwood night. Probably, I think that was at Southwood, correct? Yep, yep. yep. All right, fourth and five. Going off right away. Oh, oh drop the ball. The play. I think, way, yeah, we time. recovered, but turnover on yep. uh, on downs there. Cavalier, but it's a turnover on downs. First down, Blue Jays. All right, so it'll be first down for the Blue Jays, 49 to 20 with 4.54 left in the third quarter. They'll get the ball on the 42-yard line. Yep. Again, uh, way I'm going to look at this here, another opportunity. For us to see if we can get a stop. Yep. Um, obviously, Tucker Fisher is not in at outside linebacker, so we'll see who replaces him. It does look like AJ Cooper is replacing him. Jalen's uh, also out. Yep. back in. So, kind of the starting DBs for us at corner. You have Pratt and Brown, and at safety you have Jason Cadle. All the sophomores and a junior. Looks like a pass, pass play coming. Yeah. Good job. There you go. Make the tackle. Make the tackle. Great job, Ian Brown. Much better. Yep. Even though he caught it, he's right there. Stick yep. Yep. And that's tough because obviously Sanchez looks like he's about 6'3", and I think yep. Brown's about 5'6". So yep. you know you're giving up the height, but again, just protect it. Don't give up anything big. Looks like seven-yard gain there. Yep. The next thing we'd like to see is when he's standing him up like that is getting that outside linebacker yep. coming and plowing Plow, a little bit. Yep. Hit that big stick Pursuing going. Pursuing to the football. All right, so second and three for the Blue Jays. Hampton under center. Goes to number seven. Eli Blount up the middle. Blount again. Looks like Blount's down with the knee. That'll be good for our Blue Jays. First down. 
called him on pretty quick, so I wonder if that was a cut torn, torn ACL as well. Nope, I would say cramp, good call. So they're pulling their legs out like yeah. that. I sure hope that's on an ACL. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a new trainer move I'm not aware of. <laughs> This is it's not maybe weather predicated, but it's more first game of the year conditioning predicated. Obviously, like you said, you don't get a lot of conditioning in, no. you know, within those two weeks because you're probably trying to get your playbook in, you're trying to get yep. things set up, and it's not a lot of on the line, let's run type of deal. It's more, you know, we got to get this ready for game one yep. or game two. So, and it's even we talked about it, even like at the college level, we talked about I mean, making sure you're stretching up. So you're, there's nothing like working out with your team. Like you can work out by yourself, but obviously with the team is the best interest you have uh, in any sport. But I mean, we talked about it in college level. They say if we play, there's probably going to be more cramping and injury than ever because no one's been doing much. But it looks like you no, know, just a lot of cramping, not a lot of serious injuries tonight. So that's good. Well, talk, talk to us a little bit about that. Your experience with that. So it, it's March and shutdown hits. You know, we're talking March. It's usually your spring ball. Yeah. You know, March, April, May goes by. How much working out's going on? How much, you know, at the university? Yeah. Well, talk to us about what that looked like. Well, the cool thing is that uh, one of our coaches actually, like our yeah, strength coaches still played. held Zoom meetings to walk us through workouts and stuff like that. So, Outside, I mean, obviously at the end of the day, area. it's self, like you have to be self-disciplined and show what to do. But ultimately, like, you're going to show up on campus and they're going to see five, how you look uh, and Kelly, whether you've been working or not. So, obviously, most kids in college, you're self, like, motivated and you get it done. But So then in that case there, you're, you're, you're home. You're at Culver. You're not in Michigan right now. Yep. So you're doing all this at Culver. Yeah. All Actually, I did some at the practice field in the community and then I have some on the turf. And basically, I was using any. Looks like a long touchdown by Trey Hampton. Good, good read there. Yep, he gave good you know, read. Yep, uh, we bid on it. You can see our middle linebackers both rush to the fullback and pull and go. Nice shot by Trey Hampton. Yep. That's Trey's second touchdown of the evening. Jake hey, hey. Math skills coming in again. This could be eight finally. Eight. Could be finally eight. got there. Yep. <laughs> I didn't think we would, but finally maybe get there. The kick is up. Uh -oh. It's oh, it oh. was. I thought he missed that. I thought I maybe gave him the jinx there. Blue Jays, 56. So scoreboard reads 56 hey. to 20. Hey. North Jets and Blue Jays on top. 3.30 left in the third quarter. While we have you here, let's talk a little bit about the difference between going from the high school level to the, the college level. And I know I've heard you talk you know, to different people in like WKVI even in interviews, but just talk to us to the people listening tonight. What, what is it like going from the high school football field to the college football field? Oh, I, would, I mean, obviously the guys are bigger and stronger and faster, but that's something that you need to work on yourself to get bigger, faster, and stronger. Then I would say like uh, the speed, I mean, like you said, bigger, faster, and then uh, the guys playing their techniques a lot more better. It's not like a scram free for all like in high school. Guys are going to play their techniques better. And uh, I was talking on the way here, like ultimately college, like uh, DBs and wide receivers, I think are the biggest part of the game because they can change game so fast. It's all about big plays in college. Like you can have a big play in high school and um, you know, the next time possession might not, the same guy might not be even out in the field. It just depends like, so I think, well, I mean, just big plays in general in college, no matter what level it is, like if you have just better dudes on the outside and speed, obviously, like speed is the number one thing that they recruit for. And I would say speed of the game and obviously big plays, big plays is huge. Bring your winning ticket to the concession stand. All right, we have Before another kickoff. Drive. Cheyenne Allen, number 40, kicking off to the Cavaliers. Down the middle again, it'll be Blake Thompson. Kick back deep to Blake and Thompson. here comes Cheyenne Allen, about to make the tackle again. Yeah. He is kicking and being the first yep. one down. Tackle on the play by number 84, Drew Looks like some Thurman. subs maybe are coming in the D-line for Judson. Uh, about one minute to go in the fourth quarter. 
So offensive style then. Let's talk about that. What, what offense are you guys running at the college uh, level? We basically run RPO, which is stands for run uh, run pass option. Basically a zone zone read. Um, it's basically almost like option, except for basically you're given every time, and the quarterback is more like, responsible for reading linebackers. And if you watch any kind of college football, like even LSU last year, they run the same offense as us. Does that mean you are only firing off the blocks like maybe yep. two to three yards, and that's it? Yep. So basically you're run blocking, but the pass is going to be way faster. So if it's a RPO and they say, obviously, they say zone right, zone left, if it's zone left, the, the throw is quick because the quarterback has to know the line can't go up scrimmage. So our coach always says we're run blocking all until the time, all right? the time, yeah, yep. all the time. And then obviously, on an obviously pass situation, we're setting and stuff like that. So when you know it's a, a true pass, true pass play. Yeah, yep. third 10, third long. Gotcha. Yep. Number 62, Jacob Gutka in on the tackle. Actually, it's pretty, it's pretty similar to uh, – and like what well, well, I ran back in high school with Coach Zaner, I mean, obviously the breakdown of it is much different, but Skies. it's the same thing. I mean, double teams, the linebackers, stuff like that, and basically two, two to one zone concepts. Well, we got some new faces Off in the for the Cavaliers. Side, I see number 84, uh, Ben Lee, has come in at tight end, so it's nice yep. to see him get in some yep. uh, time here, some action with the number ones. Thing that I, I guess I love about high school sports it is the growth from game to game. And yeah. be able as a coach to see this film, look at it, break it down and say, okay, here's where we got to get better, whether it's the line yep. or the DBs or whatever it may be. That, yep. that's, the, that's the part I guess I love about coaching is the XO part and the growth that you can get out of players that yep. way. At the end of the third quarter, and obviously, Blue Jays, like, 56. To play football, obviously you're going to have fun, work hard, and then – to see growth, like you just said, basically from week one to week two and so on and so on. But obviously, if you're not working on something, the way you get better is to work on what you're not good at. Ultimately, it's what it breaks down to. You've got to get better at what you're not good at. And I know Xander will do a great job and all them watching film. They'll break it down tonight probably. They spend late hours in there. so Absolutely. Coaches, you know, especially for football, you know, I, I know the basketball side of coach, but football's put in a ton of time. You know, oh, they're yeah. there. They're, you know, relentless hours, Sundays, are meeting as a staff and yep. talk about what they need to do. I mean, it, and it's a different feel because you have one game a week to prepare yep. for, so that's what you're doing. You yep. know, basketball, you got 20 games, yep. and you're playing three times a week, so it's a different feel. Yep. But, man, I give credit to the, the yep. football coaches out there because they are relentless with the time that they put yep. in. That's why I say it's ultimately the greatest team sport. I don't mean, time, so much less the greatest team sport because – Train, we have you know, our for our over 300 days a year for nine guaranteed, 10 guaranteed. So, winner, I mean, you're training almost you're I mean, tonight, 300% of the time week. you're training and you're, I mean. Absolutely. Yep. So so how about the, from the college level, what does that look like as a player when you talk about meetings? Are you guys having oh, yeah, O-line meetings yep. and stuff like that where you you got your coach and he's talking to you guys yep. all the time? Coolest thing is our meetings it's our before practice, so it's like 7 to 8.30, practice 9 to 11. So we have time to get dressed between 8.30 and 9, get out to the field, 9 to 11, practice in the morning. It's obviously different in high school, so you got to obviously your sleep is big. Uh, time management, like everyone tells about college, it's all about getting your sleep, getting your rest because – you gotta find time for the training room. And, but they, they do a great job and make sure our legs are undressed for obviously game day. Looks like run by Ethan Thomas. Good, yeah. So looks like our, our number twos are in, which is yeah. which is great. So um, obviously in this case here, Jason Cato is playing quarterback. It looks like Stephen Pugh is our center. Um, see some new faces out. Blake and Chips on the line now. Looks and like um, 10, Reese Harrell is There's on the line just as well. Down. Is it fourth down? Uh, it should be fourth down, yes. Fourth down and four. You said Ethan Thomas in the backfield. Brady Kinderney. Looks like we got about a yard gain, so it'll be turnover on downs. To North Judson, but... That's all right for the, the, the seconds to come in and try to get a couple plays in. I don't know if we know it's turnover on downs. <laughs> it was because we had two in the in the third quarter. Yep, two in the third quarter. Yep. They're, yeah, we're confused. Uh, I think the twos are like, wait, that's only our second play. What's yep. going on here? <laughs> it's all good, boys. It's all good. So we'll see, uh, do they get to stay and play defense or do our ones come back out? First and 10 Blue Jays from the 30. 
Looks like, uh, Looks like Blue Jays bring choose. their twos yeah. in as well. Well, besides, no, unfortunately, number 41 is their number two, two fullback, fullback, and he was pretty darn good, good. <laughs> for their one defense. And number five, Blount's in there just as well, and he was tough. Well, that's actually Ellis, but he's a sophomore, but he's yeah. really good. Looks like Justin's going to have some going to be good for a couple of years here. Yeah, that's that's a good thing. Good for them. Yeah, absolutely. That's what you want to see. Uh, I know basketball-wise the same way. They had very good youth. Uh, they had maybe, I think, one senior last year, and that was it, and they were a very strong team. So they're definitely going to be blessed with uh, male athletics on, on the side over here at North Good Hudson. thing is for basketball, we have their coach. <laughs> that does help out. Yeah. Real, good guy, real good guy, real good hire for us, uh, Mr. Kyle Evans. Uh, we, we love what he's bringing already You know, in the summer, obviously as a teacher. Uh, just, a, just a class act. Uh, obviously, his dad is the principal at Caston, Mr. Chuck Evans. He's been around this area as an AD, as a coach, as a principal. Uh, just a great family, great yep. guy. We are super excited to have Kyle on our side. <laughs> so it does look like the twos get to stay for the defensive end. See how they handle things. They try to pick up some numbers and call out some uh, some players for the Cavaliers, so you know who's out there. Looks like outside linebacker is Ethan Thomas. We are going to the number senior 41, full pack, number 41. Mr. Brown takes it at about Good 14 yards. I see Kevin Bailey, number 54, on the D-line. Looks like number 41's coming off. They give him one say, run and say get him out. <laughs> He is a good athlete. Him and 40 are impressive. Looks like uh, Hayden Parker's out there playing corner for us, as well as, I don't see a 28, so it'll be 26 Ryan Beam out there playing. Let's see if we, ooh, we got put down there. Nice hole Number created 24. by the Blue Jays. Number 24 for the Blue Jays, Owen Frazier. We called his name a little bit earlier as another touchdown for the Jays. So here's a good opportunity for our number twos, uh, obviously to get some playing time. Because again, you don't know what your JV schedule is going to look yeah. like. Because week to week, depending on injuries oh, for us, do they yeah. even get to play? So yeah. this is good opportunity for them. And obviously, as a head coach, as Coach Zayner and them, you have to just say, hey, don't care about the score anymore. It's about getting these kids some playing yeah. time. JJ Blount back look on the field the for another PAT attempt. The kick is up. It's good. He's been 100% tonight. So that makes the score 63 to 20, North Judson San Pierre Blue Jays. Uh, good news, it is a running clock now uh, due to obviously the sportsmanship that the IHAA yep. put in. So we are thankful for that for tonight. Yep. So that clock will run obviously uh, even during dead time. So it's uh, 63 to 20. That deficit is over 40, so we're able to do so. Looks like our number ones for kickoff return is coming out, so that's nice to see. Let them get a little bit of experience, more experience. So we're going to need it, I would imagine, as as time goes on. Side round will be okay. All right, here we go. Taking bets. Number 40 here, Mr. Uh, Mr. Allen, does he kick and tackle? What do you think? I'm going to say he kicks it and takes it easy. Guys. Takes it easy. <laughs> you got to be, if you're you're Ben Lee or if you're uh, Hunter Evans, you got to be looking for 40. Oh, He's yeah, kicking, you better go block him. You got to go block him. Jalen King and Blake Thompson back to the for the All right, he kicks. Like he is. Right you are correct, Marcellus. Did we touch it? We must have touched it. Oh, Long saying that we did. I say we down. take it at the 35. Take we 35, just go, yeah. Take the ball and let, let our, let our number twos yep. get, get some opportunity here. Yep. And the day you're having fun playing football. And it's all nice. So 
So you'll see uh, just as well out there for the Cavaliers, number 52, Devin Burkett. He is a sophomore. He'll be on the offensive line just as well. I don't think we've called his name yet. So Jason Cato, number one, will be quarterbacking for our number two. Again, you'll see the same power T that the number one's run. Yes, sir. So number 12, Ethan Thomas on the carry. Looks like a short game, maybe a Tackle gain of one, one, which would be bring up second and nine. Wacky, and number 57, Dylan Marin. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10. Looks like a trap. Blue Jay sniffed that out, do a good job there. So Ian Brown, number 32 on the carry. Looks like a loss of one, so we're back to third and 10. Yep. I would assume they probably won't pass the young guys, but you never know, just for experience. Try to get that clock run down as much as possible. And tough night for the Cavaliers. Obviously, uh, we talked about it earlier. Great start. You know, yeah. first two possessions thought, wow, here we go. We are, we're, we're going to be real. We're yep. going to be just fine. And obviously, need to work on defensive stops. We haven't had one yet tonight. So we definitely have to work on that. Number Looks like horse collar there, Zimmerman which will the give us a first down. Yep. down so I think, you know, like you said, I, coaches will Go to the drawing board this week. We'll obviously, watch South Central, see what they run offensively, and probably make adjustments, see if we need to change personnel, see if we need to change formations, whatever it may be uh, defensively, something to get us going. End of the day, try to get better, see what we can do. Right. Obviously, I mean, I work on more defense and try to get better offense. I mean, 20 points in a football game with the wing tee isn't, isn't awful. See if I can run the football in every play. But obviously when you give up more than 60, it's tough, tough to win. Tough to win is right. Ethan Thomas on the carry again. Loss of about two or three. Again, our, the backside for Judson, whether it was the first string or second string, just firing off the ball. Yeah. And we are about a step slow yep. uh, with that. But I know you talked about it in this offense. You're not worried about the backside. You should be going forward and pulling yeah, and moving. So and moving guys and it's tough. I mean, Justin has some guys up front that can move really well. Like Coach Mobash said, they do fire off the ball fast. So we got second and 12. Jason Kale on the snap. Looks like a trap. Good, good fake there, good selling of it. Noah Pratt got tackled even yeah. though he didn't have the ball, so great job faking that out. Looks like Ian Brown on the Eight carry. Four, no the gain. To make the stop. Bringing up about Number third and 12. Two, Ian Brown on the carry. Brings up third and a long about two minutes left in this here. football game, 63 to 20. North Judson, St. Pierre Blue Jays winning at this time and obviously we'll probably end the game very similar score very yep. good team i imagine they're gonna have pretty good success yes, this year yep. hopefully they get to play their games and show what they can do against some other good opponents and absolutely i think that's what it's about week. right now yep. is letting the kids play games and hopefully yep. you know school by school they're able to do so oh well, nice good yep. job ethan thomas way to shake the first tackle Probably about a gain of about four to five for Ethan Thomas there, getting yep. the ball across the 50. So run the clock down to about a minute left. And Call her now. Ethan <laughs> Thomas on the carry. Tackled by a host of Blue Jays there in the middle. Brings up fourth down. Could be the last offensive snap for the Cavaliers tonight. Ooh, looks like a pass play here, Sell. Nice throw nice by Kate. Oh, throw. looked like Brady Moisey to keep running nice that arm route. Nice arm by Kato. That's a good throw. 
So that would be turnover on downs. Would be North Judson St. Pierre Blue Jay yep. football clock obviously still running. So we will see if they even snap. Snap. I don't think they're going to have to. So they'll probably just bring it over. Yep. And, and here's going to be the weird thing is at the end of the game here, there's no handshakes anymore with the, with the old COVID and no, stuff. So really? I'm pretty sure you know at Maybe the scrimmage it was just a wave. Yep, yep. Good game type of yep. scenario, and that was about it. Maybe line them up, give a wave, and a couple claps. Maybe they have to run one, maybe not, I'm not sure. Uh, they're not blowing the whistle. Maybe they'll give this this squad here one opportunity to run one play. Yep. And good for them. You practice all week long, yep. give them an opportunity. Get one in. Oh, little mishap on the snap. Yep. That might just end it right there. So, looks like the final score will be North Judson 63. Culver 20. That is end of game one, week one for the Cavaliers. Uh, again, joining us here at Mike's side was Marcel Sanderson. We appreciate you being here and obviously giving your wisdom and expertise on football. So yeah. we really appreciate Thank that. You. Thank you. And obviously we wish him luck, whether that's going to be academics right now online or yeah. whatever. Maybe we uh, wish you luck in the best that way. Uh, this will do it for the night. This is Culver TV on RTC TV4. Everybody have a good night and be safe.